All right, this is Dave and Nick. We're back again with another, um, well, we're going to call this one a Heavy Gear Blitz mat, uh, battle report because we did our play it now where we showed the basics and stuff where we're about to get in uh, to some of the more advanced, I guess you could say, concepts in the game um, so that we can show you what kind of what a full game looks like with all the little pieces. Um, we did go ahead and put out the, the terrain across the battlefield uh, just to make everything easy to set up. Uh, it's kind of hard to put everything on there on camera without um, getting in the way. And, um, but we have it, we picked our threat value, our force size, which is 150 threat value. Is that right? Yeah, it's about double what we played last time. We still have the same forces from last time. I'm still playing the south. Dave's still playing the north. The same troops we had last time are still here. They just have friends now. Yes. So we've added another, a whole other combat group. Uh, and then beefed out some of the other ones. To the forces, bit. yeah, and gave a little bit more, a uh, little bit more power to the others. And um, we even brought in some of the heavy artillery this mm -hmm. time, so uh, we could see it. Uh, this threat value, I will say, uh, is. Meant to be playing on a little bit bigger space, yeah. So, like a six by four, but we have the four by four here. That's what we have right now, and maybe we can get something bigger in here another time and do a larger scale uh, on that. Maybe that's in the future whenever we get a little bit better equipment. So, but right now we have our four by four. We have about 150 threat value on either side, and uh, we're going to go ahead and continue with starting with the. Um, we're going to figure out how many round guns yeah. we're going to mm -hmm. play, and the objectives, and so on and so forth. So, Nick will can uh, lead us through that All portion. Alright, so first off, normally we determine threat value, like Dave said, we're 150 threat value. We've assembled our forces. Um, this is the one place where we still haven't quite hit everything. We haven't done all of the force. We haven't done any upgrades or veterans right. or anything like that. So there's still a little bit there we haven't quite touched yet. Then set up the battlefield. That's already done. First thing we need to do is determine game length. We rolled a four. A four for game length is endurance. We will play five full rounds. Excellent. And we are not going to use any special rules. Now, we are going to determine objectives. So what we need to do is we each need to make an initiative test for our commanders. We are dealing only with combat group leaders still, so we're initiative five plus. Dave has lost his dice, so... All right, minor snafu. Dave has his dice now. So we're going to make an opposed initiative test, see who wins. The winner is going to generate their first objective. Now, since we're only dealing with combat group leaders still, we're initiative skill 5+. plus. Uh, I got a 4. And that is two dice. This is what live recording looks like. Dave gets a 3. Yeah. So I win. I will generate my first objective. So the way objective generation works is each of your combat groups has what's called a primary unit availability. Technically they have two, because they have buddies with them, but we each have a strike group, a general purpose group, and a fire support group. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick one of my combat groups. I'm going to pick my general purpose group here. And they can generate one of two objectives. They can generate either hold or capture. <laughs> so we're going to select hold, which is I'm going to place two objectives before deployment on my half of the table, and I need to hold those at the end of the game to score points. So that's my first objective. Dave, you get to pick one. Well, you have two markers on top of each other. Yes, I have two markers. It's actually two points. So okay, so be, you put both objectives. There will be two objectives on my half of the table. They can't be within 12 inches of each other or six of a table edge. And if I hold them at the end of the game, I will score a point per objective. Okay. So up to two. So do we not spread those out? Put those not out now. Okay. We'll do it before deploy. We have to determine deployment zones first. Okay, no problem. So now you get to pick. You also have a fire support group, a strike group, and a general purpose group. I think I'm going to go ahead and use my fire support group. Fire support's objective is called wipe them out. Before we do deployment, he'll pick a group in my army. If he reduces it to less than, or 50% or less of its starting actions, you're going to get a point. If it's another fire support group, it's worth two. So I pick it now? Nope, you pick it before deployment. Before deployment. We're, we're selecting objectives, and then you will pick what they are before deployment. Okay, so I'm going to put that out there to try to remind me. Um, next up, I'm going to select, eh, I'll do my fire support group as well. 
the only objective available to fire support groups is wipe them out. Yeah. So they're going to generate a wipe them out as well. Okay. I couldn't go back and pick my general purpose group until everyone else has generated one. Right. So now it goes over to Dave. So I'm going to fire go... support's done. Yep. Yeah. So I'm going to go with. So we have general support and. Yeah, so you have strike. Strike. You can capture, which is two points on your opponent's side of the table, or break the line. They want to get into your opponent's deployment zone to score points. Okay. So we're going to. And go then ahead. they have capture or hold. All right. So we're going to go ahead and break the line. You're going to break the line with the strike group. Yeah. Okay. So what he's going to do is at the end of any turn, if 50% or more of the actions of that group are in my deployment zone, he scores a point. Next up, I have my strike group. I'm going to nominate a capture objective for two. So those will go on his side of the table, and I need to secure them. And then I'll do my... You have your general purpose. General purpose. You can capture. capture. So you're going to capture. So you can place two objectives on my well, I, find, I feel it makes more sense if you're going to break the line to make some capture. To generally objective. be more aggressive. Yeah. All right. Now, it goes back to me to generate one more objective. The standard for 150 is four. Because all my groups have already generated one, I can go back and pick any other one to generate another one. I'm going to go once again with, hmm, decisions, decisions. Right. I'm going to go ahead and go with my uh, fire support again and do another wipe them out. Okay. Now, just to note here, you can generate each objective up to twice. Okay. So what we're going to do, I'm going to go back around mine, and I'm going to choose... Um, my strike group again and add more Another capture. Okay. So he's got break the line, wipe them out, two captures. I've got a hold, a capture, and two wipe them outs. So that's objective selection. So with that done, we are ready to determine deployment type. Let's go ahead and roll off. We got a five. That is narrow edge deployment, which would normally mean on a six by four. We would deploy on the four foot side right. and go six way, but we don't have that. So this is going to be 12 inches from the long side. Okay. So we're going to go 12 inches from each side here. So 12 inches from each edge? From each edge. Okay. And this is going to be 12 inches up here, and then the same thing up there on your side. All right, so we're just going 12 inches yeah. just like that. Now we need to do one more initiative test to determine deployment zones. I got a six, plus one is a seven. I got three. You didn't get a seven. Um, I'm going to stay here with this as my deployment zone. Okay. And you as well? Yeah, so my deployment zone is here. All right. And then one last roll off, see who places their objectives first. I got a six. Six. You got also five. Also five. I got five. So go ahead and put mine out. Um, We're going to hold there. We're going to hold there. And you get to place those anywhere in your half of the table, not in your deployment zone. So just to be clear, our deployment zones are 12 inches from this edge. Right. I'm going to take my... Well, go ahead and place mine first. Well, I was going to take my extra one. But anyway, I was going to mark off 12 inches, but that's fine. That's fine. Um, they can't go in your deployment zone, so not within 12 of this edge. They can't go within 6 of another table oh, edge. I think I just had that. That's fine. They can't go within 6 of another table edge. Okay. Or 12 of another objective of the same type. Okay. So we're 12 inches here. 12 inches is there. Place one there. And I'm sorry, they can't go up against table edges. But they what? They can't go up against okay. the table edge if you want. Remember, it's not in your deployment zone. Yeah, that's outside. Just barely? Just barely. Well, maybe a little bit right there. And then... Further, so we'll put it there, I think. That's out, outside of 12 inches of the other one. Okay. So now your objectives go out. Uh, break the line and wipe them out. Don't get placed. Right. But I place your captures. Correct. And you have four. Yep. Now, these can't be placed within 12 inches of another objective of the same type. My holds don't count for that. So we're going to go 12... And start returning the favor on you. <laughs> you can go there. And you can go there. 
He's gonna go there. And then this one's gonna go right there. Okay. Nice line of objectives for you. Yes, sir. All right, objectives have been placed. So now we are ready to deploy forces. So we're gonna take turn deploying. So player who chose deployment zone deploys first, so I will deploy first. Okay. I got three groups, fire support, recon, and general purpose. Now, just a note on the objectives. Anybody can score them. So I don't need my general purpose guys to hold these. Right. The fire support guys could do that. Now, they're not worth anything today. Right. Just as these are worth nothing to me. All right, um, I'm gonna go ahead and start with my general purpose unit. And they're gonna go right in here. So we've got a Jaeger, Jaeger gunner, striking Jaeger, striking Jaeger, and the command Jaeger. So that's my first combat group. Go over Dave now. And that's my general purpose. That's the strike. I know it doesn't matter for objectives. Yeah. yeah. All right. While he's placing, I'm just going to go through kind of what's been added. The South picked up a fire support group of three iguanas and two support cobras. There is a combat group leader, and it's going to be one of the support cobras. And this one is in the strike, right? I'm sorry? The big one is in the strike. Yes. So what got added over there was Kodiak. Yeah. Um, we added a king cobra to this group, and one extra striking eager to this group. So before we keep going, deploy mine. So support cobra, support cobra. This is the uh, command cobra, the razor fang. And then the recon guys. He'll go there, he'll go there, and this little guy will go right there. So Iguana, 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 two Cobras. One's a Razor Fang, sorry. That's the Razor Fang. Okay. And then over to you. So what they added to the north was a Fire Support Group, three Cheetahs, a Grizzly, and a Thunder Grizzly. The, general, the uh, Strike Group picked up a Kodiak, and the General Purpose Group picked up a Ferret. Um, all these forces are composed using just as the starter boxes. We do have one extra model that is available in the starter box, but you don't get enough of them. So you can't quite build exactly these out of a starter box. If you wanted to, you could just replace it with some upgrades, and that will get you up to the 150 threat value. Um, in this case, the third cheetah, the third iguana, and I'm sorry, the, uh, the 58 year are also not available. They don't come in the regular box. It's just four, four, and four. Uh, South Fox has one last model. Picks up some little recon, some little drones instead. Alright, I'm just going to put my general purpose. So is it just north and south, or are there any? No, other? no, there's 10 factions, actually. So we have the north, which is the Confederate Northern City States, the Allied Southern Territories. We have Peace River. We have the New Coalition. Two seconds, let me uh, place everybody here, and we'll continue with the factions. So there's Peace River. Go ahead, David. We're good to go. That's the, all my deployment. There's Peace River, New Coalition, who, for those of you watching, will be the new starter box coming out with 3.0. We have the Black Talons. Um, Peace River and New Coalition are, they're in between the North and the South, kind of local powers. The Black Talons are anti-Earth commandos. There's the League Lists, who are just kind of like the roving crazy people in the middle of the desert. Mm -hmm. You've got the CEF, which is the invading Earth forces, so there are a lot of hover tanks and things like that. Caprice, which is what Dave's actually building, they use a bunch of little spider walkers. Spider walkers. Um, they kind of look like the Tachikomas from Ghost in the Shell. Mm -hmm. I've seen them panned up that way. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, they live in a city in the middle of a trench that is basically a techno cyber crime haven. So, I like it. I like it. There's I'll Utopia. There's Utopia, which is one of Earth's colonies. They use command, um, human-controlled units, and a bunch of automated drones as the bulk of their army. 
Then there's Eden, which is almost like pseudo feudal society with knights and everything. Mm. All set. All set. All right, we're all deployed. We're ready to start shooting at each other. Ooh. Roll off initiative for the first turn. Oh, by the way, force commanders. Uh, my force commander is going to be the Razor Fang Mamba again. All right. So um, and you're just the Thunder Jaguar. Thunder Jaguar. So initiative go five up. I get a seven. <laughs> Here's this again. You got a six. I win. Last last game, he won everything but the last (laughs) one. Hmm. We have some decisions. We're playing five rounds instead of four this time. We have some decisions here. Yes, we do. Hmm. Let's say I can see where an extra two feet. All right, we're gonna we're 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 gonna start off strong. With yours, then we're gonna start with you. I can see. I can see we're at extra two feet. Extra like two this. feet, that yeah. way is a long way. Yeah. The other thing is, like, if you have airdrop stuff, the 4x4 four four really makes that stronger than it probably yeah. is. Um, we're going to get cute. All right. We're going to do the fire sport guys first. Okay. So before I go, um, I'm going to mark some tokens out here so you guys can see them. The blue tokens are going to be actions. So he's got an action, and he's got an action. And then they will shift to black if they ever go on standby. And then I think Dave's going to be using some light green ones. So oh, kind of match my die, I think. Sorry. This is just so you guys can follow along. Now note that because they're big and chunky, the King Cobra and the Kodiak each have two actions. Oh, yeah. And we got some other tokens out here that will be of use to us. All right. All right, cool. We're gonna start with the fire support guys, um, because we're gonna well let's show off what fire support does. So um, fire support group's gonna go first. Okay. One more thing I need to mark before I forget about it. All the commanders have a command point, which they can use to use orders. So let's go through all the new stuff all in one go. Yeah, shall let's we? do that. All right. So we're gonna go with the fire support group. First thing before we go any further, the commander is going to spend a token, his command point, to issue an order. He's going to issue the let them have it order. Not that it's really going to do that much, but we're going to show off what it does. Let them have it, and hold on. Do I want to let them have it? A little reference go. We're going to go ahead and issue an order. The question is what do we want to do? Um, Commanders. I just see some bigger ones. Don't want to let them have it. Um, there's going to issue the try again orders. So try again. It's going to be on. We'll shoot it on his buddy. So his buddy's going to get a reroll. So unopposed electronic warfare roll. Now he could potentially jam this with, say, the cheetahs and stuff like that if he wanted to make this a little more annoying. Okay. I'm listening. I'm just so trying to find unopposed that. electronic warfare roll. Uh, actually, goes off for the Cobra. So everybody in his combat group gets the order, which in this case is just pick somebody and they get a reroll. Right. So I'm gonna give it to these. Uh, the <clears throat> Cobra. I'm trying to remember which one of these guys is the headhunter. The one with the little fin on top. The little fin. On, okay. So he'll get. It. And There's another order we could do, but it's not gonna do that much right now. So and. With that done, let's start doing some combat groups here. Are you all set, Dave? Uh, just uh, go ahead. Uh, I'm just trying to... Um, Iguana here is going to top speed. Three, five, three, five. Um, do you want to react to him? Give me one second. You're fine. Go ahead. Uh, and fi- go ahead and finish that out. I mean, it's available for reaction. Okay. I'd like to take it. Um, this guy... It's going to top speed as well. Two, six, right up there. Okay. And they're both going to quote, go on standby so they can react if they want to. This guy, um, he's just going to move. Six, two. Check his range. We are good. We're going to forward observe the assault hunter. Okay. So, forward observation requires an unopposed electronic warfare roll. 
targeting an enemy model in sensor range, which he's in sensor range. He's okay. behind the building, but I can still see him, so yeah. that's scary. A four and a six. The iguana has electronic warfare skill of, of three plus, so the six goes to a seven. Hey, look, it's successful. Now, I can pick a single combat group, any of them, and they get your reaction fire with range with indirect attacks against that right. guy. Can we get the two cobras back here? Oh, by the way, who went and braced first? Um, their first thing they should have done was brace. Okay. So they snafu. He went and braced. He went and braced. He's the last guy. Going. Gotcha. So. They're going to reaction fire against that guy. Now, they're going to use their artillery guns, or um, field gun, da, 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 light field gun. So, this is 12 to 24, so suboptimal range, quite handily actually. And it has two ammo types. I can do armor piercing or anti structure. We're going to do armor piercing. So, first guy, shooting there. Okay. So normally I'd roll two dice. I lose, I go up to, I have get one more for braced, but suboptimal range right. and indirect. So it's only one dice. And it's not a guided weapon, is that the thing? It is not guided. Okay. Um, now, when your grizzlies go, they have a guided mortar who can ignore a whole bunch right. of stuff. The nice thing is this gun actually hits a little bit harder. Okay. So it is area effect three though. So if we... Everybody's within three on that. I can tell yep. you right now. So we're going to make an attack against every single guy there. <laughs> now, you are obscured from me by terrain, so you'll get cover on all these rolls. Yep. So not terribly left I'm going to hit, but hey, why not? So start with the Assault Hunter. Roll a six. So I should have three. You'll have three. base and one for cover. And four. What is their pilot? Four plus. Four plus. So five. So I actually hit him with a margin success of one. So let's just keep going down the line here. All right. Headhunter. I rolled a two. Yeah. You rolled better than two. Destroyer Hunter. Roll a one. Better. The Ferret. I rolled a six. Uh, nope. Ooh, what is the piloting on the Ferret? Uh, the piloting on the Ferret is going to it be... It might be a three. A three. Okay. So, so the Ferret got four. a four. So we hit the Assault Hunter with one, the Ferret has a two, and then the last Hunter, a little five. Okay, that won't do anything. Yeah, so damage against the first eight. Hunter, a margin of success one. Damage on my gun is an eight. So, so eight plus one is a nine. Your armor is six. Uh, yes. On so it will do three damage. Six. It will do three damage to the Assault Hunter. Three damage to the assault hunter. Oh! Sorry, papers are flying. Papers everywhere. And that was an action off the iguana to do that, so his action is spent. Because the cobra has the react plus rule, it actually doesn't spend an action for its first reaction, so they still have their actions. And normally the braced, um, your your speed doesn't translate during your, your um, reaction. Braced is the only one that does, which is why they had to go first. Okay. So brace sticks through throughout the turn. So they're minus one dice to hit until they go next. All right, and then the ferret. The ferret took a margin of success two hit. Right. I'm damage seven. Um, damage eight still. So plus ten. Nine. Oh, plus two. Yeah. And so ten. Two. Ferret's armor. Uh, ferret's armor is four. So it takes six damage. How many yeah, health it, does the ferret have? It explodes. Have? Yep. So the ferret only has six hit points. <laughs> the ferret is overkill. Yeah. He's and overkill. is simply removed from the table. Yep. Now, we're not done yet. The other Cobra's got to go. I know. Here come the Howitzers. So starting with the Assault Hunter again. Okay. Four. Six. Okay. The uh, Headhunter. Two. Uh, Technically, two, I'm rolling uh, even five. less dice, but minimum one. Destroyer Hunter. Five. Six. Okay. And the last hunter in a row. Yeah. Yeah, super yeah. nothing. <laughs> super nothing. So they're done. Um, they didn't even need the order. No, I wanted to point out, again, we're rolling pretty fast because we had our first game earlier, and I've been kind of obsessed with this thing a little bit. Uh, so on the rolls, uh, when they are opposed rolls, 
Uh, you roll the number of dice, so you, you generate a dice pool. Uh, two is for, everybody basically has two. And then you add your bonuses and take away your, you know, your penalties. penalties. Um, anyway, so you roll a dice and your highest number on an opposed roll. So my highest number is six. Any other dice that I roll that are over my skill that I'm rolling for, or trying to be a target equal number two. for, equal two or over, yeah. right? Adds one. Uh, adds one to that die roll. So my four plus, uh, I have a five, which is more than four, equal two or more than four. So I add one to the total of my highest roll. So this six becomes a seven. Okay. And then we compare that the other then we way. We compare that versus each other. Right. And it's um, a great system. It's quick. It's easy. Uh, but it it gives uh, some fairness in it. That's what I think. I like to say. So that's my first activation. Okay. All right. So it's like it's up to me to move now. So. We have, and these are new models for me, so yep. bear with me a moment. So big things on the Grizzly is it has a heavy auto cannon, which is just a regular auto cannon, more damage. Right. It has twin medium rocket packs. So the rocket pack, you fought the rocket pack before. The difference with the Grizzlies is it's stronger, and right. because it has the twin trait, it's going to roll an extra D6 when it shoots. The other big new gun on there is a guided mortar. Now, my forward observation, because they weren't guided, suffered all those penalties. Right. If it's cheetahs forward observe and have line of sight to the target, the mortar on them doesn't suffer those penalties. Right. And their forward observe is their sensor range, correct? Yes. Which on them is a 24. It's a 24. So I'm going to measure the sensor range just to get an idea. So you're going with them? Yes. I'm going to go okay, You're going to go with fire support. All right. We're going to activate our I'm fire support cheetah. unit. Going with that cheetah. Going with the cheetah. Now, the cool thing about forward observation is um, it's not necessarily subject to all the modifiers. Correct. All right. So, so for example, top speed. The cheetahs. I believe. Don't quote me on that. I'll have to double check. Mm -hmm. Now, do you suffer, you suffer a penalty to electronic warfare rolls if you top speed? Uh, brain is telling me no. Let me double check and confirm that while you're going. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and... And even if it does, I'm going to go ahead and top speed this cheetah right here. <laughs> All right, and he's going to go ahead and move. Correct. Nine it's, to it's only model condition, so if you're crippled, that's the only thing that matters. Okay. So you can totally top speed and forward. So just top speed, speed here. Mm. Or, uh, now, when you measure the sensor range, you can't see this guy. Right. Because of the building. So we're going to measure the sensor range. 24. And we are outside. Yeah. You can totally pick out an iguana if you want to. Yeah. So, we are going to move the next cheetah. Uh, see, that's a bad place to go. Yeah, and just remember from last time, can't vault over the walls. Right. Especially not with these guys. Uh, the Grizzlies can't. Yeah, I'm Grizzlies talking about the, che the cheetahs are short. short. Yeah. All right. Walls so, are an inch tall for anybody curious. We're going to top speed to this one. Actually, we're going to combat speed this one. Okay. Just to here. All right. And then this one is going to be bad. Because we're going to top speed it to nine. And there's nine there. Okay. And we're going to try to position it to where it has some cover. And this one's going to measure its sensor range. You have the front guy. All right. So we're going to forward observe that. The front guy. What is that? That's a, uh, it's a Cobra. Cobra. It's a support Cobra. The Cheetah's going to afford to observe that mm -hmm. Cobra. Now I'm going to declare a reaction. Jamming. Okay. So normally this would be an unopposed roll. It's going to be an opposed roll now. All right. Between my Iguana and your Cheetah. So the Cheetah has a 4 plus EW. And Iguana has a 3 plus. Okay. And we're going to get two dice. Mm -hmm. And there are no buffers. But no, there, there are no modifiers. No modifiers. 
the Guana fail, the Lizard Boy. Cheetah wins on a four. Yeah. So the forward observation goes off. You have four to observe this guy. Now, you may declare reaction fire with any combat group you have with indirect weapons. And because you can draw a line of sight to the Cobra, your target designator works too. Okay. You can fire your gun. I'm going to take your mess up and my mess up. I should have braced these guys before I did that. You're fine. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to have them brace. Uh, so now, now we're even. All right. So we have... That modifier shouldn't matter on the guided guys, but it's just a good thing to do. Yeah. That's right. You it won't lose. matter on guys. Well, so if you were to react later with, say, your rocket packs, yeah. it will hold first. All right. So, I had to do it because of the artillery gun. Right. So right now we oh, yeah, have gun. our grizzlies, right? So our mm -hmm. grizzlies have a guided a weapon. A medium guided mortar. Yeah, and that is up to 72 inches. Handily. So handily within range. Now, because it's guided, doesn't suffer the penalty for being an indirect weapon. Doesn't suffer the range penalty either. And it gets plus 1d6 on the roll. All right, so, so we cool. have two base... We'll start with this one. Mm -hmm. Two base, one extra for the guided, right? And then there's no other modifiers. No other modifiers. I am two defense dice, plus one for cover. Now there's the guided mortar area effect AE. Uh, it is a area of effect three. It has blast. Okay, also. so a couple things here will affect this guy. And the blast says covers measured from the target point. So he is not in cover. Right. Cobras have a mighty piloting skill of 5 plus. And I have a gunnery skill of uh, 4 plus. Okay. And we have a 7. I get a 3. So hits with a margin, that's a 4. 4. Uh, his damage on that weapon is a 8. And I'm an 8 also. Okay. You're an 8 armor? Yeah. So that will do 4 points. And cripple the support cover. All right, we're gonna follow suit with the second grizzly. Mm -hmm. Now, because this is a secondary target, you will suffer the minus one. Uh, minus one dice. Right. I did not take my brace die on that. You don't get. It. Don't get it for guided. All right. All right. Let me let me double check that. Four guided. I'm sure you don't get it. Well, to be specific on that. <laughs> yeah, let me pull it up real fast. We had a snafu last time. Because if we don't get it. Uh, on there, then what's the, what's the point of bracing on these guys, Mike? Because I don't think there is one with the guided weapons. Okay, ignores the negative range modifier. It doesn't ignore the minus one for the indirect. So you still got it. We're good. Okay. I did. We just misspoke. You still start with the negative for an indirect. So, just to be clear, we have two guys for base, one for our brace. One for guided. One for guided. And then minus one because it's indirect. Yep, yeah, so we're back to three. Back so it was a good roll last time. We are now still... you're going to roll one less here because he's a secondary target. Because he's a secondary target. Okay, we're going off of the the, the uh, AE3. So. He rolls a little better. He gets a six. Uh, he has a five. So he's fine. So he's fine. All right. However, I'm assuming the other guy's going to yeah, just do so the same thing. So the other guy's going to do the same thing. Now, because this guy's crippled, he's only going to roll one die. And firing at the so same guy? Yep. Yeah. Actually... Yeah, that's who we forward. You forward observe him. Yeah. You gotta do him. I rolled a five. I have a seven. So, margin says a two. Yeah. Uh, damage is eight, so ten minus armor of eight, so he dies. Head cover. Cool. And then we're gonna get our two dice on the other one. On the other one. A six. A good roll. Five. He's fine. Alright. Stupid iguana. <laughs> you have one job. One job. Um, and that looks like that ends that activation for that combat group. All right, over to me. Um, let's return the favor here. Let's start doing some scary stuff. Let us go ahead. Let, let me clarify one thing. Mm -hmm. So in this case, since the forward obs observation gives me the chance to react, you can't brace as a reaction? Brace is not a reaction. Okay, so move now, them bracing is still a good thing because brace is the one thing that holds through. Sure. So, if you were to say shoot with your medium rocket packs later, that's fine. Correct. Um, but, how I, but, yeah. our rea but those were free reactions. Those are free because you have the react plus trait. Right. Your first reaction every turn is free. How do we want to go about doing this? 
probably do that. That sounds good. <laughs> yeah, we'll do that. So I'll go with the Mambas, the Mamba group. We're going to use an order. We're going to use the Let Them Have It order. Okay. So unopposed electronic warfare roll. Um, I don't believe he's in sensor range. Uh, no. He is no sensor lock there. So normally the roll will fail. Because he has the comms trait, everybody in formation with him gets it anyway. Okay. So he's got that. So they have Let Them Have It which grants the stable trait to all their guns. They get plus one D6 as long as they don't brace. Okay. So we're gonna start with the Blazing Mamba. Sorry, we've got a million papers floating around here. <laughs> Where did all the papers go? Um, I gave you all the papers. Yay. I do have a Mamba paper in there if you don't have it. You would have the Mamba paper. Okay, that's fine. No, I'm saying I would have I had it from the last game. If you um so we'll just leave it running. There it is. Oh, oh, yeah. you it? Okay. We're good. Mamba 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 Mamba. Alright, so Mamba's move six or move seven, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. So this guy's going to combat speed four three to there. And declare a shot against that destroyer hunter up front. Okay. Would you like to react? The destroyer hunter is the bazooka. The bazooka. Very short range bazooka. I'm probably out of your optimal range. Give me one second. Give now me. there is a reaction he can do if you'd like to. He can use an order called evade. So normal roll. Um, no, so it would be an unopposed electronic warfare roll to make it go off. If he fails, everybody in formation gets it. So minus one d6. Um, you're sorry, you get to re-roll all of your defense rolls, but suffer a minus one d6 penalty all right. to well, all other rolls. Well, measure his center range. Um, since he's not active, you only measure half of it. Only measure half of it. Mm -hmm. But I will be nice enough to tell you that that's 18 from the Mamba. Okay. So is he within 18? Yeah. We are within 18. So the Mamba is actually going to be in optimal range. But normally I'd be able to measure half, and I can measure it there and get the base. The bazooka is not an optimal range. Your rocket no, pack my probably. rocket pack is. So um, I am going to react to that. Spend my action to fire the rocket pack. Okay. All right. So I am two base dice. Um, you are in cover. I get plus one for burst, plus one for let them have it. I will be in cover, okay. and you're not within an inch of the terrain, so I'll get cover on the return shot as well. Okay. So, hit roll with the Mamba. Mamba's gunnery 3 plus. 6, 7, 8. I have the advanced trait, so that's a 9. Probably skill is 4, and that is 3 ones. Alright, so my 9 minus 1 is 8. Um, so the damage on the gun is 7, so I do 15 damage. Minus six for his armor is nine. <laughs> I think the hunter's dead. Uh, However, the hunter still gets to do his shot back. That's right. Uh, you're in optimal after range. After that, he becomes he, a, he, he, He's toast. You are in optimal range. Mist. And you're reacting with the rocket pack, right? Correct. So the rocket... It is not going to tag you with one. No, it's not. So you're in optimal range. So you'll get two dice. Yeah, two dice. And... That's yeah, it? That's it. Um, I'll get three because I'm in cover. Gunnery skill of four. He wouldn't get I wouldn't get cover if he was within an inch of the building. Right. I got a six. I got a five. So... So the Mamba escapes unscathed ah! and has murdered a little hunter. He's <laughs> murdered him. Alright, uh, this guy's gonna go. He's gonna combat speed four and three. He is going to uh, go on standby, so you can react to him if you would like to. But I can tell you right now, we're out of optimal range of each other. No, nope. we're we'll just let it let it pass for now. This guy's going to top speed. Three, four, three, and four. So he still has an action, and then this guy is going to move combat speed up to there. Okay. All right, on to the king. Uh, king's 
gonna, King's gonna measure his sensor range. So that's 18. I think we're in range. I think we're gonna go for it. Um, he's gonna... He gets to move. I'll go ahead and move up a little bit closer. So he's moving combat speed. Okay. He's gonna fire his particle accelerator at your Kodiak. Okay. Now, optimal range on the particle accelerator. Um, I'm sorry, he's not gonna fire that. He is going to fire. Duh, 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 duh. Um, it's 18 inch range on that. I don't really want to do that. Actually, yeah, we will. We'll go ahead and spend one action to fire my particle accelerator at your Kodiak. Okay. Maximum range is 36. Right. Optimal is only 18. So it's a super out of optimal range. Okay. So I get two dice, minus one for suboptimal range, one extra for the order. Okay. And so I'll have two dice. What is his? Uh, he is gunnery three plus. Three plus. If you piloting five plus on the Kodiak. So he is in cover, so we'll get the cover. Um. So we're first question is I have to react. That's what I'm thinking. So, a reaction, you said evade is an option? So you can use an order to evade. Okay. It'd be an unopposed electronic warfare roll for your guy, for your Thunder Jaguar. And just to make sure, so... Hold on. If it goes off, you can reroll all your defense rolls for that entire combat group. Okay. That entire combat group, until the end of the round, suffers minus 1d6 to everything else. Okay. So uh, basically, if you don't want the Kodiak to do anything, right. evade is an option. Well, he's not. Now, keep in mind, he's also a veteran, so he gets one reroll by default. Okay. Which one is the headhunter to go with the field? I already got one on yeah. him. Okay. Um, well, we're going to have three dice to, to stop this the out. particle accelerator. And a piloting skill of four, so let's just do it. Piloting four? Oh, yeah, really? Oh, Kodiak, sorry. Piloting five. Well, I'm pretty sure he's five. King Cobra gets a five. Six. Six. Okay. Good thing you didn't get hit by that. That would have been, <laughs> that would have been bad. bad. Um, Sometimes you guys leave it up to the to go about guys. One more action with him. Okay. Because he is action two. Yeah. We're going to fire artillery rockets at that guy. Okay. So the artillery rockets are optimal range 18 to 36. So, super easy. Yep. Easy in range. It is area of effect 5. Okay. So, it's basically a thermonuclear bomb going off. It's going to hit all the hunters, or potentially hit all the hunters. Two base dice. It is being fired direct. Um, can only be fired in direct. I'm sorry. Next can't can't take your shot. Never mind. Hold on. Can't take right. the shot. We're fine. Indirect shots can be fired if you have sensor lock on the target. You're long out of my sensor range. So okay. he's just going to camp on that one and say, I have a reaction. Okay. And pass it over to you. All right. So we got some banged up hunters, and we got a striker. Yep. All right. So the strike group, uh, I'm going to measure sensor range of. Are we going with the strike group? Yeah, Remember, it's, sense, it's only sensor range of the guy who's going right now. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead and activate the strike group. Mm -hmm. Well, go ahead and activate this one. So the thunder. The thunder. Thunder. Okay. All right. Only have the guy who's going. So I've already chose for him to go. Oh, we did totally forget our wipe them out of gifts. Oh, yes. Um, I was going to do your fire support and the general purpose. So. Okay. And um, we go with the strike. The fire. The fire support. The uh, fire support. Yeah. And fire support for the next one points, and then the GP, I would have gone because it's the easier target. Okay. So I only did one of those. So Yeah, you only did one. I did two. Doesn't help that a bunch more already died, but yeah. they're easier to kill than this. All right. Keep going. Keep so going. we'll go ahead and go with the thunder. Tactical point, I would have had to kill three Jaguars. Right. Which is harder than killing three hunters. Alright, so we're 
going to go ahead and use the medium auto cannon on the Thunder Jaguar to okay. take a shot at this guy. Sure. All right. Are we in optimal range? We are not. So you'll be minus one dice. Well, we're going to get two minus one for optimal range, one to add it back for blast or for a burst. Uh huh. Are you going to issue an order with them too? Well, okay. First question is he going on um, top speed, combat speed, or brace? Yes, that is correct. We got to. So he is going. I didn't even think about that. Uh, so he's going to brace. Gonna brace. Oh, okay, so you're going to be braced. Yep. Okay. Um, does he want to issue an order while he's there? Um, you could do the same, let them have an order I did. But he has command, right? That is the command, Mom. Um, what were the orders? Can you so your options them? are... So big ones, um, let them have it is the most common order by quite a bit. Right. What it does is it grants you the stable trait to all your weapons, which means that you get plus one d six to hit if you're not braced. So okay. basically means you can move combat speed and top speed at plus one dice. I'm not going to issue an order at this time. Okay. So that will give me... So your two base dice, um, plus one for burst. Yes. Plus one for brace. Yes. Minus one for suboptimal range. Yep. I think three. I think I'm getting cover from the tiki head. Yes. Okay. So I'll be three defense dice. So three defense, uh, three attack, three plus. So and on defense three. I got an eight. Jeez. Make it hard for me. And seven. All right. So nothing happens there. All right. Huh. So I'm going to go ahead and activate the sniper. Mm -hmm. uh, measure his range real quick. Sniper's going to... Sniper's going to... Um, Brace, mm -hmm. and take a shot at your little dude right there. Okay, Iguana, okay. Okay, so he's going to get two, plus one for Brace. He should be in optimal range. I would think so. Because, yeah, it was like, mm -hmm. what, 36 inches? Yeah. So, uh, and... So, we got three dice. Um, I'm getting covered from that wall in front of me, definitely. Right. So, my... Yes, yeah, Sniper Jaguar and have precise. So, plus one if you're plus in one to range. Mm -hmm. I mean, we'll have more range, so plus one to the result. Mm -hmm. And I believe that cancels out, so I'll have to double check that, see if it matters, but here. Yeah. If one gets a seven. Uh, and I also get a wait. No, you got an eight. An eight, yeah, because he's a three. Eight, so nine because of precise. Yep. I got a seven, so margin success two. Damage on the heavy rifle. Is an eight. Is an eight. Iguana's only armor uh, is only armor five. So eight plus two is ten. Yes. Armor five does five damage to the iguana. So that iguana's crippled. Okay. All right. And we have one super dead cobra. Right. Not quite as does a hunter in the ferret, but. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and move the destroyer jaguar, which I believe is this one. Yep, the Zuzu guy. Yep. And he is going to move at top speed. Seven. So he's gonna move seven here. To spend an action, and he is going to fire at uh, this guy. And I'm gonna return the favor with my rocket pack. So he's gonna get well, the Navy destroyer and the bazooka. Where are we in 12? I'm gonna do my bazooka. 
Okay. So bazooka off. The bazooka off. So. So your two base dice. Two base dice. Um. No, minus one for. Minus speed. one for. Yeah. I am two dice plus one for cover because of tiki hits. Yep, and I am three pilot. Or three gunnery. And I am three pilot. Yep, six. Seven. Well, I can't beat that. Nope. <laughs> uh, my shot back, I'm getting two dice to your, uh, to your four. Yeah. Because he's at top speed. And it's his activation. Yep. I get four. That's, yeah. that's way that's... better than a four. <laughs> so, that's spent. Alright, you got one Jaguar left? Uh, one Jaguar and then Big Feller. Yeah, and the Alright, so that's a regular Jaguar. I'm just infected regular Jaguar. Yeah. He is also going to move. Let me measure his range. Or his sensor range. I don't think he can quite get an optimal. No, he can't. He's not an optimal. Not unless he moves. Uh, I'm not sure you can get there to move either. Yeah, because he'd have to move out. No you'd have to move around, and I'm not sure you get close enough after that. And still have line of sight to me. Right. Okay. So he's going to do... He's just gonna move. He's gonna move three inches out to here. He's gonna top speed. Okay. So, so three there, four First there. Move. Other seven to right there. Okay. His buddy will get him covered, right? To be yeah, yeah. Angle. covers from front. You can get covered from front of us. Okay. We'll measure his sensor range again. And we look like we're just outside of optimal. All right. So he is going to. You're an optimal. What are you talking about? Huh? You're an optimal on him. Well, his gun is... 6 to 18 and 6 to 18. Oh, it's 18. I thought it was from his 12. No. Yeah, so I'm okay. with an optimal there. He's going to go ahead and fire. Um, okay. Think that yeah. the Tiki head's there, so... So I'm on three. Um, but you're not obscured by the Tiki head. Okay. Yeah. Not from not from either... Well, yeah, from this one, your, he wasn't really into that. Yeah, you're really buddy, yeah. so... I'm on two... Um, and you're gonna be on two also. Yeah. So we two top base. Speed. Yeah. What is this regular? Yeah, you guys have burst. Well, you get burst and yeah. then drop back down. Yeah. I got a four. I got a five. And so you win by one. <coughs> Damage on the model cannon is a seven. Yeah. Correct. Correct. I am an armor seven. So the old one damage to a yeah, striking a mamba. Plink. All right, Mr. Kodiak, bring it. All right, Kodiak is going to... Kodiak is very slow. <laughs> yes, Kodiak is very slow. But he can go over this. He is tall enough to go over that. He is two inches tall, but the wall's only an inch tall. All right, so he's gonna go ahead and move up just slightly. Five inches, and he will put it there. Uh, that was a bad act. No, yeah, okay. Anyway, he is going to fire. I'm going to check the sensor range real quick. He's going to go ahead and fire his... Oh, over here. The 
LATM is Light anti tank missile. That is a direct or indirect weapon. So you can fire it directly. Does it get guided? No, nope, it doesn't have a guided. Uh, does it have a guided trick next to yes. it? Yes. So the uh, guide only works on the indirect um, response to a forward observation. Okay. So you will not get guided on this. Will not get guided on it, but it is A no A P three. Armor piercing three. So he's going to go ahead and fire it at your your big fella. Back here. Yeah. Okay. So gets thirty six inches, mm -hmm. well within the optimal range. Yeah. Um, definitely in cover. Okay. So it's going to get two. That's it, right? Mm-hmm. And it's going to reskill as a three plus. That's three. Um, I got a I'm going to use my I'm going to use my veteran reroll on that. Okay. Um, I got a six. So you win by one. <laughs> Damage. Damage on that weapon is. An eight. I am armor nine. So marginal hit. Okay. Roll a d6 on a four, I'll take one. Because your damage calculation is exactly zero. No. Well, hold on. So that, that, was, a, that on was a margin of success of one. Okay, so you can AP means AP, AP for one. So you take one. AP for one. Weak. And that ends that. That's it. All right. All right. On to the Jaegers. Uh, um, we're going to start this guy. Well, first off, they're going to get the uh, let them have it order. Okay. Um, it fails, but they're all within six inches of a guy with comms, so they're good. They're going to get the order. Okay. Um, the way that is, is I failed. He has comms, so anybody in formation gets it anyway. Right. So this guy is going to combat speed three. And. Three. And we're gonna go ahead and light auto cannon. Actually, we're gonna go for the rocket pack. No, we're out of that. Light auto cannon on the uh, assault hunter. Suboptimal range. All right. So two base dice. Brace, burst, suboptimal range. This should be assault, right? Yeah. The uh, sub cannon. So just two. Just two. Two on four plus. Um, yeah, yeah, and you're definitely not in cover there. No, I'm not. I got six. Four. Uh, margin success of two. So damage six, plus two is eight. Minus your armor of six is a total of two damage. Okay. So it should, should be the third point on him if I recall right. Uh, that will be... Yeah. You got tagged for one earlier. Oh, the Assault Hunter? Did he? Where did he get... The Assault Hunter got... Smash earlier for three. Okay, so he's crippled now. Or is that which one is this one? That's the destroyer. Destroyer. Let's say I think the destroyer did. I think the assault took one. Yeah, you're right. The assault took one, so that two actually does not cripple him. Yeah. Next up, and this one is just this Jaeger's going to combat speed and do the same thing. Actually, the destroyer was taken out and. Which one was taken? Rotary laser. This guy overkilled you. You trip one. Right. He overkilled the ferret. No, the ferret took two. He he did one to the assault. He did right. the ferret. And the other guy finished off the ferret. Okay, so the, the assault, so had, assault one. had one. has now taken two more. Okay, so he's at three. Jaeger gunner, same shot. Okay. Uh, same roll as well. No cover. Five. That's it. Uh, this guy. Same shot. Still suboptimal. Well within range. Seven. Uh, eight. Jeez. So that'll be all um, eight. Margin says a one. Nine. Six plus one is eight. Minus one. Or minus six. I'm sorry. Six plus one is seven. Minus six is two. What's the damage of that? Six. Six plus, plus one, one is seven. seven minus um, six. Yeah. Okay. So it hits you. Now you're crippled. Now he's crippled. All right. Um, this guy is going to go four. Just sneaking by his buddy so I can see you. And fire his rocket pack at you. Trying to finish the job. 
So suboptimal on the rocket pack. Okay. So rocket pack on the same guy. So two base dice. Um, order minus one for suboptimal. You are crippled now. Ah, I don't want that. Yep. And this will one <laughs> five. So hit margin success of four. He goes flat. Potential, oh, he stays, potential on you. Yeah, you're not dead. Just knock him over or something. And it's area effect three, so it might hit your buddies. Yeah. Who are eligible targets and who will both get cover from this. So now I'm down to one dice because they're both going to take an additional right. dice one. So closest guy uh, that ties. Um, damage seven, margin of success is zero. Your armor is six. One. So one damage. So one damage to the head. Okay. Good job, Jaegers. All right. We're doing better than we did last time. You guys are going to eat a bunch of rockets next turn and die horribly, but you know. Uh, so one to the head. Yeah. And then other shot on the other guy, I rolled two. I'm assuming you can beat a two. Uh, you never know when I'm rolling it. I mean, you, we already got a trip one. Yeah. yeah we're gonna... And then this guy here is going to top speed. Two. Four. Two. Four. And stand by. Okay. Over to you. For the, uh, the two hunters who are rather unhappy with their existence right now. Yeah, they're not very happy about anything. They've been getting bombed. Bombed. Three other buddies are already dead. Alright, so... So the headhunter and the... Okay. You have a headhunter and the regular hunter. Right. So the headhunter is going to move combat speed. Would you like to issue an order? Uh, the order... You could totally do the let them have it. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so unopposed electronic warfare roll. Because I have nobody who's in range to stop you. Goes off. Um, even if it hadn't, you're within six inches, so he would have gotten it. Yeah, he did, though. So now, as long as you don't move brace, you get plus one D6 on your attack roll. Actually. Wow, well, my electronic warfare is six plus. Uh, on the head? That sounds about right. On the head. Oh, five. It might be a five. Yeah. yeah. Now comes the pain. Because I gave you Christmas on a rocket target. Right. He's going to move combat speed. He's just going to move to there. Okay. And he is going to make his sensor range and he is going to fire on that guy. Okay. Go. I'm going to react with this guy because we're starting to run out of things to shoot at. Okay. So there's going to be a reaction from that Mamba and what the heck will react with the other Mamba too. Okay. So shooting him. Yeah. All right. Um, you're in optimal range. So two base dice. Plus one for burst. And plus one for the order. Four. Oh, no. I'm going to be at three because there's a head in the line. Yeah. Four. Uh, seven. I have a six. So oh, five, six. That's it. Six. All right. Uh, Nothing. Quick reaction here. Okay. Um, you're in cover because of that, but in optimal range. Yeah. So I'm going to be at three dice. You're going to be at three dice as well. Yep. Um, I rolled a three. That's better than a three. And a five. And then this Six. is a suboptimal shot. You're in cover. Yep. Uh, that's a five. Yeah. That's better than a five. Yeah. So they're done. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry. I got one more reaction. He'll fire his rocket pack at you just for spite. Yep. Um... So you're still going to get your three dice. I am way the heck out of optimal range. So I'll be on one, but it is area effect three, so I might tag your buddy. So I can see, so he is eligible target. How about? Okay, sorry. can't stop that. <laughs> and the buddy, um, I rolled a five. So no point rolling on the first one. Second one, I got a five. Well, if it wasn't this is the, so it goes off no matter what? No, no, no. So the rocket, I, there's no point in me rolling. I can't roll a seven on one dice. Right. So the first shot missed, but the area effect still potentially might hit everybody else. Okay. Right. The area effect doesn't require the initial shot to hit. Okay, that's yeah. stops two. That stops two. 
I had the action, might as well spend it. Might as well. Because we're... Alright. Um, okay. <laughs> last hunter. Yeah, last hunter. Um... And that is... Is that the regular hunter? That is the regular. Ten guns is a boss. Yep. Okay. Well, he's frustrated with life and... <laughs> this is ridiculous. To top speed it here. Okay. And then here. Okay. Because he couldn't quite make it with a regular. Alright. And he is going to take a big risk and fire his rocket packs at that guy. At that guy? Okay. He's going to spike with his rocket pack back. Okay. Alright, so here, um, I am in cover from this. Yep. So I'll get three. I get a base of two, minus one for top speed. Let him have it. Oh, yes, plus one for let him have it. Mm -hmm. Uh, Mamba of course eight. you do. Mamba rolled an eight. Of course you do. Mm -hmm. Can't win. Now, I rolled eight. we have an interesting interaction here I'd like to point out. You can't actually see this Mamba. No. Now, the way area of effect works is it's still a regular attack. Mm -hmm. So you will automatically miss him with your shot. Right. If it had the blast trait, it could hit him. The idea is instead of a rocket going up and coming down, right, he's just spraying, he's spraying rockets. That's right. the area effect. Yeah. So the rockets can't hit him because he is very much not seeable from there. Right. And then my rocket pack shot back for spite. He is in optimal range. Yeah. Um, but you are in cover. I am in cover and... It might hit those all two both, jaguars. Both of them are in range. All right. The ARE. So start with the hunter. Um, you're on four dice because you're top speed. Yep. I got five. That does it. Yeah, better than five. Um, and then I'm one dice on the first jaguar. Two. The lucky die. Is going to get cover. That last jaguar doesn't look like it will. Because I'm within an inch of this piece, so I ignore it. Right. So the destroyer, which is in cover. Correct. Right. Uh, five. Uh, three. Yep. Yeah. Three with your piloting, three plus. Okay. Yeah. It is. And then the last shot, which I don't think you are in cover for. I guess three, so it's not gonna matter anyway. Yeah. Good job, guys. Good right, job. Um. All right. Cool. End of turn. Clean up face. So here's what we're gonna check. Um. He has a rule called Haywire on his big gun that would go away right now if it had gone out. Okay. Break the line is checked right now. You have nothing in my deployment zone. Right. I, however, do get a point for wipe them out on your general purpose group. Okay. Because I killed 50% or more of its actions. Yep. All right. So that's that. Turns over. Everybody refreshes actions and it's good to go. Alright. So let's refresh actions real fast. And then do our initiative roll. And he's not active. Quick measure him. Yep, I'm not stupid. Cool. Not stupid. All set. I do believe. Remember the Kodiak gets two. Yep. I think. And that's everyone. Yep. All right. Initiative test. Um, neither of our commanders are crippled. My roll is a five. My roll is a five as well. I can never roll off again. And a four. I will go first. Strike group. Strike group. Um, Again. First things first is they're going to order for um, let them have it. It fails, but they're all within six of the boss. So everybody gets the order. And we're going to 
gonna let some guys have it here. All right, first guy here, Mamba, is going to go top uh, combat speed here. Go for the completely unobstructed shot on your Jaguar right there. Optimal range. Would you like to react against him? Um. I would like. Yes. I would like to react with all three of these. Okay. All right. So let's do my shot first. Bazooka shot on that Jaguar. Yep. You're not in cover. I'm in optimal range. So two base dice. Plus one for the orders. Three. I got a seven. Five. So margin says a two. Damage on a light bazooka because you're, it's, a, it's a south model, so it doesn't get the medium. Jaguar's armor is seven. It is seven. So seven plus two is nine, minus two more. Or minus seven, two damage. Two damage. Two damage to the main Jaguar. That's and now you get to shoot back and that's make the this. Regular that's the uh, that would be the regular, yes. Yeah. Because Thunder's still hiding back there. Yeah. All right, now light up Mr. Boy's mom. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're gonna start with I'm running cover from any of these. The so regular I'm just... hunter. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna get base two and one for burst. So auto cannon. Okay. Uh, four. Yeah, seven. Oh, six. So, hunter miss. So the Jaguar. Same. Are you using your bazooka? Yeah, the destroyer Jaguar is going to use the bazooka. So okay. Two, and no one for the... No, I'm sure. No. Six. Did you stop that? <laughs> Make up for last time, damn it. Three. And then the Jaguar... Regular Jaguar. Probably need him auto cannon? Yeah. Medium auto cannon, he will get the two for first. The one extra one for first. There's a two. That'll do it. Bye. Six, so marching success at four. Um, because of damage, that will do four damage to Mr. Strike Mamba. He'd already taken one, so he's got one left. But all three of them just spent their action, so I'm not too heartbroken by that. Oh, uh, yeah, so. Alright, so four damage there. Yeah. Totally worth it, trade. Yeah. All right. Uh, blazing is going to combat speed four and two. We have a nice clean shot on that hunter. Okay. So two base dice, burst. Let him have it. Five, six, seven, eight, nine for um, <laughs> precise or for advance. Oh, I need. I need to know what the roll. <laughs> Four. So five, so marching success of five, um, damage is seven, so twelve. My armor is six, overkills him. Yep. And goes away. Alright, so the hunters are all dead now. This no, is... not all of them. Oh, fine. Details. That was so alive. Details. Um... That was my commander, though. So... Gonna combat so this hunter now one. becomes the commander of the group. Oh, this is our group. Yeah. So he's gonna go there. The group of one. Um, medium auto cannon on the back. Uh, we'll check sensors. Medium auto cannon the back jaguar. Okay. The cover. You'll get cover, but I'm in optimal range with burst in order. Six, seven, eight. <laughs> that is a three. So Mark gets us a five. Armor seven to damage seven does five damage to that Jaguar. Who I believe already got tagged earlier. So regular dig what are you do? So yeah, he's he dead. He's dead, Jim. Alright. Jim, the um, doctor not a mechanic. Interesting. Not what we expected to happen, but we'll take it. This guy is going to combat speed to here. And do we want to make bad decisions? I don't know. Do you, punk? It's not that bad a decision. We're going to try and forward observe that guy. Okay. Now, I am in sensor lock of your cheetah if you would like to make this an opposed roll. Oh. It will cost him an action. 
but it will turn my forward observation, which is two dice on four, to succeed into an unopposed roll. To an opposed roll. Or into an opposed roll, yeah. Yeah, I'll spend it. Why not? I'll spend it. So you're gonna make an opposed roll. I got a six. I got three. And you get a six. So it's successful forward observation to go. This guy is gonna launch his um, guided mortar. Uh, okay. No, not guided. Um, artillery rockets on him. Okay. <laughs> no target designator, so destroyer. Yeah, on the destroyer. No target designator, so that's why we have to do that. Optimal range on artillery rockets. This King Cobra is awesome. It's 36 inches. That's well. 18 to 36. So we are in optimal. They're both in optimal. Area of effect five. So the nuke's gonna go off, and I don't think we're gonna get the cheat. Alright, so two base dice. Um, it is indirect, so minus one, but plus one for the order. And I'll get two plus one for cover. Uh, yes. Well, hold on. Uh, this is blast? No. Uh, not blast. Nope. Yeah, you're good. So two base dice on threes. I roll twos. Yeah. I got six. Hunter in front. Seven. I got a three. That's All right. So King Cobra is not happy about this. So he's going to get off his fat butt and try and do something. <laughs> 18 inches. We're going to fire at the destroyer with our uh, particle accelerator. Because we really don't like him. Cut. With our second action. Two base dice. Moved at combat speed, so I'm going to get one more for the order. Um, you're still three defense dice. Yep. Alright, here we go. I'll keep that. Eight. <laughs> So three. three yep. Effects. On the pilot, you feel three. Is that who you're shooting again? Yeah, yeah, the Jaguar. That would be... Uh, margin of success two. of six. Particle accelerator is... I'm sorry, it's also advanced, so that was actually a nine. Okay. So, um, so damage eight. Margin of success was seven. Or like uh, five, because you rolled three. I rolled a two. Roll a two. Margin of of seven. So 15. Minus your armor of seven is eight. Woohoo! So we just, um, there, there's, no, there's no Jaguar anymore. <laughs> Poor little Jaguar. Um, that's my first group. I think it's mad at me from when I beat him last time in our demo game. He's... I'm not using your dice this time. Ah, that's what it was. He brought his own dice. Which, by the way, he needs an order token. He gets an order token. Or a command point. Over to you. Let's put it there. Other one. Yeah, well, now this Kodiak's going to come in and start doing some bad things to people. Yeah, it's not like pretty. Yeah. I'm pretty sure striking Mambo's gonna die horribly. A bunch of those Jaegers are probably gonna die horribly. <laughs> Alright, so. Here's an artillery rock, or an anti tank missile. Yeah. Or heavy rocket pack. So the anti tank missile won't do. It's not area effect. Area. Or but I think he's got a heavy rocket pack. Yeah, HRP. Yeah, it's gonna hurt bad. I'm going to measure his center range, which is a normal 18. So five inches would get you like this guy. Which is totally going to hit all of them. Yeah. And that happens to be the amount of move he has. It's almost like I knew that. <laughs> Alright, so the, the strike group's going. Would you like right. to issue an order first? Um, Let him have it. Yeah, we'll right. issue the order, let them have it. Um, there is no point in rolling this because everybody's within six to receive it. Okay. And I have nobody in range to attempt to stop it. So he's going to move his five to there. Five to there. Measure his sensor range. Yeah, you've got. Go. 
You can pick on the command if you wanted to. He's going to fire his heavy rocket pack. Um, your options are probably have to be this guy, the gunner. Yeah. Because I don't think you can see the command because of guys in front of him. Yeah. It'll shooting be, the gunner? It'll be this. All right. So shooting the Jaeger <laughs> gunner. Um, they're going to issue order evade. Okay. So it fails, but calms. Everybody's going to get it. What does that do? I get to reroll my defense roll. They're minus one to everything else for the rest of the round. Okay. But I get to reroll my defense roll. It's hitting these guys and him. Okay. So he's, uh, yeah, the entire Jaeger group is effective. Yeah. Because we, we, we know what's going to happen. This could be bad. <laughs> All so, right, so starting with the gunner. Is it off the way? He gets two. Plus one for the order. The order. So three. I'm at two defense checks. <laughs> His gunner is Um, I have no claim cover, though. So. Gunner is three. So three hit, three defense. And that, sir, is a seven. That, sir, is a seven. Uh, he has AP, so hit. No, there's no uh, margin. No, uh, there's no margin. You didn't hit me. I didn't hit you. Oh, no, yeah, we're marching to zero. Yeah. So AP, you're going to do one. Was that margin? No, there was no margin of, the margin of success. I thought that's what. Margin of success was zero. So, so he did you. hit. Right. But it's only margin of success zero. Right. So what's the damage on the rocket pack? The damage on the rocket pack is a seven. No, sorry, nine. Nine. So nine minus my armor of six is going to do three points to the Jaeger gunner. You don't have to roll for a marginal on that? No. It's only marginal if the damage calculation is zero. Okay. So if you had margin, so if after damage calculation it's a zero exactly, okay. that's the marginal. The, the uh, gunner takes three. Uh, minus one dice on him. Yeah. And he's not in cover. Oh, uh, yeah, he is. He's got cover from the peaky head. Yeah. So, two dice on him. I'm going to re-roll that with the order. Seven. And fail a lot worse. So, five. So, so yeah. So, you, so you got a marks of five. Your damage is eight. It's 13. Just kills him. He's just super dead. Oh! All right. Uh, this guy back here. Yep. Yeah. Make Seven, I'll keep that. Yeah. And then this guy back here. Uh, I got a I'll three roll. One. So marching sets a one. So ten. Minus six is four. So he's crippled. So Strike Jaeger's crippled. That's all, all four of them? Mm hmm. All right, now your second action. Uh, yeah, if you he, would like to spend it, you do not have to. Yes. Can he do that again? Uh, he cannot shoot the same weapon multiple times. Uh, but he can shoot a weapon. You have a bazooka, and there is a mamba sitting really close to you. Yeah, I do have... You weapons. could anti-tank missile somebody, too. Mm. Or, or you could just nuke the mamba. It is the M-A-P-G-L. Um, Anti-personal grenade launcher. Okay. I was just wondering what that was. Type of melee weapon. I mean, it's anti personnel. It actually has no range. It just hits somebody in a certain radius around it. Alright. So, he is going to. Shit. Just for the hell of it. He's gonna fire his um, yeah anti tank missile, mm -hmm. and he is going to fire it at uh, the big fella in the back. Taking cover, okay. He will get cover. And are you an optimal range? Yeah, thirty six okay. inches. What's well, what's the low number? Uh. Low number is 18. 12 to 36. Okay, yeah, yeah, super in. Yeah. 72 is. Alright. Yeah. So three dice on three is on both of us. Uh, I get plus one for the order. I want your dice, yep. Yeah. Um, I get eight. Uh, no, hold on, I get six. That's 
piloting five plus. I have six. I'm gonna see your roll before I make my reroll decision. So you got an eight. Yeah. Um, the damage on this is actually one less than my armor. It's damage eight. The king's already taken a point. So he would take eight, nine, ten. Okay, I'll take it. So your marching success is two. Yeah. Plus your damage of eight is ten. I'm armored nine, so I'll take one damage. Your armor piercing though? Yes. So you can deal up to the AP number. So what's the AP? One. Okay. Oh, sorry. Three. AP three. So we'll do two damage to the king. You can do up to your MOS, up right. to the armor piercing number. All right. So the Kodiak is done. Can you hand me my other die? Yep. And go ahead and go with the remaining Jaguars. All right. This. <laughs> so my sniper, sniper. Sniper's going to go ahead and fire at. You gonna brace? Mm hmm. And, and fire, fire at, at uh, Miss Mamba. Okay. Um, no cover, so it'll just be two dice. No striker is crippled, so he'll be on one die. Uh, no, that's not Striking Mamba. Striking Mamba's crippled, he's got one point left. Yeah. So, so you get three. Yeah, three. Good Brace order. doesn't stack with the order. Yep. I get a six. All right. You get a six also. Yeah. Um, however, I am agile, so yes. So what is the agile again? We played it wrong in the first one. The agile is if the MLS is zero. zero it's an S. For some reason, I thought it was the march on heads, but. Alright, and then my thunder. Measure a sensor range. It will take a shot at him. Okay. So, two uh, plus one, die one again. for order. Yep, one die again. That's a one. Alright, so he's gonna die. Yeah, oh, he's gonna die. Three. Marching says us too. He's only got one hit point left. Beep. He dies. Alright. Oh, that's, that's them, it. right? Another dead dude. That's them, right? Uh, yes. Over to me. Um, so we're going to start with the order. Let him have it. Uh, fails to go off, but the, the one Cobra gets it. Okay. Uh, the Cobra's going to brace. Uh, brace? No, we're not going to brace. We're gonna start moving. We're gonna get out of our hidey hole. And go right there. Alright, um, other stuff. You're going to you can't move at top speed because he's crippled, so he's just gonna combat speed four and four to there and go on standby. Um nobody really can shoot at him unless that sheet now that sheet already did something. Well, he has an action left. Uh, you shot me. Huh? You shot me. You shot him. That's right. None of that stuff has actions left. That's right. They it's shot. just the cheetahs and the, and the grizzlies. They all shot everything. Um, this guy is going to combat speed. Five and three. And we're going to take a no cover shot at that hunter. With okay. our pack gun. Our little pack gun. Optimal range. Zero to six. Just barely. Alright, but here's the cool thing though. Two base dice. Two extra for burst. It's burst two. I am, however, gunnery four plus. So this is his action. Six, seven, eight. Hmm. Oh! Okay. Only get two. So margin success of six. It's damage six. It's also going to overkill the hunter. 
Well, he already had Arizona. It's still overkill. Still overkill. Okay. Um, this was unexpected. Yeah. I'm sorry, I forgot. Can I shoot with him? I have to shoot his gun. Uh, yeah. Right, he's gonna let artillery gun him. Light field gun. Because uh, I think the field gun is. Yep, can in fact be direct. So optimal range 24. Sorry, I should have done this before, guys. Easy range. Two base dice. That's it. Um, oh, let him have it because he got that. Mm -hmm. uh, six, seven, eight. Five, Five six. six. So Martin is at two. The gun is damaged set, uh, eight, so it goes to a ten. Uh, cheetah armor is five. So it takes five damage. And that will leave him crippled. And then we'll see if this guy can finish the job. He's going to combat speed and shoot you with his pack gun. Okay. Would you like to uh, attempt a reaction fire? Yep. All right. So you're going to reaction fire at me. Um, he's four dice again. Two base, two for burst. And then one to them crippled. Six, seven, eight. Is that right? Yeah. Um, you can't not die. So. Oh. Yeah. So no matter what he rolls, you can't roll an eight on six. So. Right. That's fine. But you get your shot back before you die. Oh, yeah. And here's the cool thing. It's bur It's base two. Pack gun is burst two. All right. So it will give you two extra dice when you shoot me. Minus one. For Minus one crippled. for crippled. All right, here we go. That would be a six. I got a four. So two. Yep. Mars are here. Two, or... Two. So two. 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 Margin of success is two. Your damage is six. Yep. So you got an eight. My armor is five, so he'll take three. That guy's crippled as well. Uh, I will be back. All right, uh, that's mine. Your grizzly is in one cheetah who can do things. All righty. Um, oh, this is going fantastically. So, I think that I am going to move my, I'm going to go to activate, oh yeah, he did get Does he have a burp off the table? Uh, no, did he kill him? No. No, he's crippled. That's yeah, he's crippled. Right. He has one left. One structure left. That's right. He lived on one. And popped you in the head. A little bastard. Oh, now we're going to punch one. each other at point blank range. Alright, so, the one cheetah, remember his sensor range, 24. 24. If you move, you can probably get to the sink of support. points you need to kill at least two more models out of that group. Yeah. Alright. So you have a double uh, top speed? Top speed, okay. So it's gonna move two inches of there. And then seven inches to there. Right. Get another nine. You trying to see him? You're yeah. good. Okay, you can see him. He's gonna use his action to forward observe him. Okay. Um. Ah, looks like it. 
it's gonna go off, yeah. yeah. Alright, so guided mortars, I assume? Yeah, here comes the first one. I'm um, not gonna get covered because it's blast, so I'm on two dice. Are you in optimal range? Uh, I are. I'm sorry, it ignores range. Yeah. So, and I assume they, um, they're gonna brace before that. Yeah, um... So, they're gonna brace. Do they want to actually take an action? Well, actually, if I brace them this one, I'm gonna brace this one. Okay. Does he want to do another action? This is a, this is a reaction. I, I know. Well, we're, we're, we're slightly out of order here, because we keep forgetting to brace, guys. Okay. If he declares brace, he brace has it, to... It's not what I do. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna brace him. I'm gonna take it as I would normally do. So, I did not do it. Okay. So, he's reacting. Okay. To that. To that, all right. To the forward ob observation. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> He's going to go ahead and take his shot. With the guided mortar, okay. The guided mortar. So, so two dice. Two plus one for, plus one for guided, guided. Minus one for indirect. Minus one for indirect. Okay. Yeah, it ignores the range bonus and provides an additional plus 1d6. Ah. That was, yeah, right. Just, yeah. Yeah, and then blast. Which means that cover is measured from the target right. point. So, I don't, I'm not going to get cover. Got a 4. I uh, also got a 4. Okay, so, uh, marking set is 0. Still is a hit, though. Damage? Uh, damage is... Actually, was, damage is a eight, eight. eight. So I'm armor eight, so it's going to be zero damage. So roll the d6 for the marginal hit. Eight plus zero is eight. Yeah. Minus my armor is zero. So roll one d6 for the marginal hit. See if it does one. Yes. It does one. And then the second guy, would he like to do it also? Yeah. We'll just have two dice, I guess. Okay. And a five. And a five. All right, so another marginal hit. That one doesn't do it yet. Okay. Now, the reason I asked on Brace is, there was a reaction, that's free. They still have actions. Right. If you had Braced before that, they would have had to spend their actions. Right. Then. But since you didn't, <laughs> they still get to go now. Yeah. So you still have all their guns. The only catch is you can't fire the guided mortar again, but... Right. Combat speed to five. Would he like to shoot something? He is going to shoot that thing. Okay. Uh, not in cover. You are probably in optimal range. Yes. Depending on which gun you pick. Yeah. Auto cannon. Auto cannon. Okay. Well within range. So I got two dice. One four. Or three up. I'm sorry. Right. So he's going to get two plus one for burst. and shoot him. He'd be rolling one dice, two for cover right there. But you're going to get four dice to shoot me with. Yeah. Got yeah, three. Well, that would be a six, seven, eight. So eight, um, regular three marks, this is five. You actually one-shot him. So he's just overkill. Boom. All right. Um, over to me. So have my ears to go. Yep. They're minus one d six to everything, and they don't get in order. So 
You guys aren't gonna be able to do a lot, but we're gonna, we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna give it a go. So this guy's gonna combat speed right there and fire his rocket pack at the Kodiak. I'm only gonna roll one dice, the Kodiak's gonna get two. But if I hit, I'm armor piercing. Okay. So no cover on the Kodiak. So he's gonna hit his two base. I'll just go a five. Not gonna do it on a two, but you know, I get first shot. That's better than a two. Five. Mm -hmm. uh, this guy is going to. You know, I'm only ever rolling one dice. Let's go top speed. Right there. Same thing, rocket pack on the Kodiak. Did I use both of his actions? Yes, you did. You rocket packed an anti tank yeah. missile. So, rocket pack. Got four. Six. Throwing tiki heads around here. Top speed on the Command Jaeger. Go right there and shoot you. Right there so you don't get cover. Got a one. Doesn't do anything. This guy can't move top speed, so he's just going to kind of waddle six and fire his rocket pack at you and yell angry obscenities. Did I get a six? No. Actually, yeah. Um, so that's the last my activation. All your hunters are dead. They are. So there's no activation to be had there. That's the end of the round. Yeah. So initiative for round three. All right. Hold one um, second. Refresh everything. Order yeah. token or um, command points. Oh yeah. Token. Token, 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 token. Get this command back. He gets two. He gets one. One, two, three, four. He gets one. Okay. All right. Initiative for turn three. I got five. Okay, four. I'm going first again. Again. We're gonna go with the strike group again. Issue the order for um, calm or for let them have it. It goes off on a seven. Yeah. It's gonna hit the whole group. I want to see if we can start whittling down this Kodiak. So we're gonna start with this mom, but he's gonna combat speed up to here. Okay. And go for a no cover shot on the Kodiak with his rotary laser. Okay. Um, not within six, but within 18. So I'm in optimal range. Two dice, burst, order. And a five plus pilot skill. Ooh. Well, six. All right, six, seven, eight, nine for precise. Yeah. Or for advanced. So margin sets a three. I'm only damage seven because it's a rotary laser. And his armor is nine. So we'll do one damage. One damage. One damage. It's one damage at a time, slowly yeah. but surely. Um, this Razor Fang, the Razor Fang is going to move up to here. Okay. Going for a no cover shot on you with Rocket Pack. Okay. Uh, yeah, with Rocket Pack. So I'm on three dice, you're on two still. Which one is shooting? The Razor Fang. Okay. With a Rocket Pack. He rolls a seven. And then the six. One, armor piercing. So uh, one point. One point. It's only damage seven, or damage seven, so it wouldn't damage you normally. That's gone, that's gone. This guy is gonna fire over his dead buddy. You're gonna get covered, but there's nothing to be done about it. Same thing, rock attack. So now you're gonna have three dice. And six. I got a six, so margin success is zero. You don't have agile, so that hits you. Armor piercing. For one. For one. And then King Cobra is going to finally wall his butt up there and start doing something. We're going to start with the rocket pack from the King Cobra. Cover. Cover again. King Cobra rolls a six. And you have seven, seven. but this. And last is the particle accelerator. Six, seven, eight, advanced is nine. And 
six. So six. So margin success of three. Damage is eight. So eleven. So eleven minus nine is two. Two. Uh, and that cripples. Normally you would get a haywire token for this. Okay. The haywire token says, well, you have it, you're crippled. Okay. But you're crippled anyway, so I'm not going to mark it. Fair enough. Fair enough. And that was both his actions. Over to you. All right. So, looks like the Kodiak's going to get one last hurrah. As we activate, activate the Jaguars. Okay. Um, let them have it. We will use the command to let them have it. Kodiak close enough to auto receive. Yeah, okay. So it doesn't matter if you succeed or not, everyone's yeah, gonna get it. We're gonna roll it. It goes off anyway. Yeah. So order is good. Mr. Kodiak. Yeah. Back up to your mighty two dice. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so Kodiak. Um, if you're curious on damage status here, he's taken three. Measure sense of range. All the Mambas are untouched. And that Jaeger's taken three. And this guy's crippled. You can totally move and get into range. Mm. If you can return the favor. So what we're going to do I think he's going to do three inches that guy um, okay he is going to Kodiak is going to brace okay. well he's got never mind the order is not going to matter. Yeah. yeah. So or with the order, you don't need to brace. So two base minus one for cripple plus one for. What are we doing? We're we shooting. Yeah, he's going to shoot. He's going to fire his heavy rocket pack. He's going to fire it at this guy. Okay. So he'll hit three dice. And I'm just going to check that. I it's, can check that. Yeah, right. It's going to hit him. It's going to hit him, and I think it's going to potentially. So hit he went three. He's going to. Potentially tag all three. Yeah. Alright, got all of them. So let's go on the center guy first. So the center guy first. So two dice. Um, on threes. And on three dice. Need, on threes. One more time. So it was two base. It's two base. Minus one for cripple. Plus, plus one for the order. Mama gets a seven. Of course he does. So that misses. You want to so, go on the king or the razor thing next? King. All right, you're going to roll one less dice because it's a secondary target. Yeah. King gets a seven. Okay, so that's a definite miss. Razor thing. It's a seven. All right. This guy only rolls two, though, and gets a five. No. And a four. Okay. You do have a second gun, though. Yeah. So we're just going to fire directly at the King Cobra. Anti-tank? ATM? Yeah. Anti-tank missile? Yeah, I think that's... You're your best bet. Your bazooka's too short. Yeah, bazooka's 12. Your anti-tank missile yeah. will roll two dice. Okay. The bazooka will only roll one. So the anti -tank All right, King Cobra. Missile. If you're going to make any of them, make this plus one, buddy. Two, minus one, plus one. Yeah, plus two yeah. dice. You're making any of them, buddy. Make this one. A six. Oh, a four. The King Cobra lives. <sighs> now he's got to survive the rifle and other crap coming at him, but... Yeah, so the rifle's going to take a shot. It's going to brace. Mm-hmm. And take a shot. Okay. So he's going to get two. One for the order. So four dice. Brace doesn't stack with the order. That's right, it doesn't stack with the order. So why did I break? Alright. Anyway, and it's been off the warning since like 30 seconds. Yeah. So the three dice. And Cobra gets a seven. Yay. You three get a seven. seven. 
Yeah. Okay. Um, what's the damage on your weapon? Damage on that weapon is an eight. I'm armor nine, so it doesn't do anything. Okay. No marginal hit. Any other guy? Good night. On the other guy, it's just gonna. I mean, this is looking terrible. He's just going to. Uh, he's gonna just ball out it here. So he is a regular jag. No, that's, that's the assault, thunder. The thunder jaguar. Uh, there wasn't an assault. No, there wasn't. It was a destroyer, destroyer and a sniper, and a regular. And there's the regular, and the destroyer's in about eighty pieces right yeah. now. All right, so. Here's number seven. So it's going to move one inch to there, six inches to there. And then he's going to uh, be combat Cripple. speed. Crippled. One left, three left. All right, combat speed's good. He's going to fire his rocket pack. At. Um, he's going to fire his rocket pack. Here. At the crippled iguana? Okay. So a crippled iguana is going to roll two dice. I know it's still three plus. You get two plus one. Yep. Iguana rolls a five. Iguana lives. Um, minus one d6 here. And I will be in cover. Uh, he gets a five. Five. So that's equal. Your damage is seven. Uh, damage on that is seven. So that will deal one to the striking Jaeger. I'm sorry, striking Jaeger shouldn't roll three dice. He's crippled. No, I'm sorry, that striking Jaeger's not. So that striking Jaeger takes. Yeah. There's two strikings. That's the undamaged one. And then there's crippled guy over here. Okay. Uh, command, who is not in cover. It's a seven. That is a six. That's a seven as well. Or seven, sorry. Uh, so command takes one. What command did go? Oh, that's right. Stupid. After and awkward. Command takes one. And then the gunner up front, who is not crippled, but has taken three. That is a seven. That is not a seven. Uh, you will take four off that. So margin of success is four. Damage, Damage is seven. seven. So 11, 11. minus armor, he dies. All right. Is that all of them? I think that's it. Yeah. All right, on me. That's from this one. All right, on me. Uh, yes. All right, orders. Um, he's going to issue the order himself. It actually goes off if you would like to try and stop him. It will take the action from that cheetah, though. No, but she's going to hold his action. All right. So they both let him have it. Okay. He's going to... doesn't matter if he braces. He's not going to brace. He's just going to kind of sit there. This guy is going to do this. Actually, he'll do that. So, in his rear arc. So, he hasn't gone yet. So, his shot here. Pack gun. Two base dice. First, let him have it in a rear arc. Yeah. Yeah, let's see. Yeah. Six, roll. seven, eight, nine. I have to roll. Uh, you get a six. six. So marching starts a three. There's damage six. So it's going to do three damage to you. Yeah. So it does cripple him. So three damage to... I think that cripples him. That's undamaged cheetah. Yeah. He cripples. Right. And then he's going to go and put his... He's going to go combat speed. And put his heavy auto cannon on him. Okay. So two base dice, burst, um, order. He has to to evade. In optimal range. No. Okay. okay. So one die. Uh, plus one for cover. Oh. Two die. Uh, I got six. I did not get six. I got three. Um, it's damage eight. Yeah. So he's gonna. Doesn't kill him. It doesn't overkill him, but he's, right. he's gone. Uh, that's me. Alright, so. Got two cheetahs and two grizzlies. Two cheetahs and two grizzlies. Um, the support has taken two. He's uninjured. Yeah, he's gonna go ahead and. Uh, fourth. Observe. Observe. Okay. 
You want to order anything first? Yeah. Um, who is it? Like? Okay. Uh, one of the two Grizzlies had a little thing to get to this guy. Okay. So then, uh, let him so roll for the order. Goes off. So it's going to catch everybody regardless of distance. Yeah. All right. And I then, think that's the Thunder Grizzly. Yeah. All right. It is. And then this so, guy is going to. Uh, yeah. Now you want to do your forward observation? Uh, I did forward observation, observation with this one. Okay, um, roll for it. I did, just now. Uh, I had a five and a four. I thought that was your initiative order. Oh, it was, okay. Okay, so forward observation. No, not forward observation. Issue the order. Okay. Issue order. Uh, okay, never mind, we already got now it. Now you Let him have it. So, uh, yeah, forward observe that guy. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna go ahead and react with this guy. Well, it did succeed. Huh? It succeeded. That's right. Yeah. yeah. All right. Go ahead. It is a reaction. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, I'm two base dice. I am not in cover. So he's gonna get. Well, actually, gonna get two base plus one okay. for the order. And let me double check something. Port observations are weird on who, what modifiers you use from who. Carry on, I'm trying to see if I get okay. covers measured for me. Well, my carry on is to actually fire, so wait, I need to figure the cover thing out. Uh, no, he's not in cover. Okay, so he's going to get three dice on fours. Uh, yes, and I'm on two. Roll five. Seven. So March assess a two. It's damage eight. Uh, yes. So he's gonna take two. So the support cover is crippled. All right, and then we'll go ahead and fire with this one as well. Okay. So we'll say three. Seven. Not a seven. Four. Cover's gone. Okay. And you've scored your two points. Scored the two points. But you have also scored your two points. Um, I scored only one because yours wasn't fire support. Ah. I need to kill uh, some cheetahs here. Yeah. Alright. So they both fire and he four observed. I got this one left. You got a cheetah, and then they still have their regular actions. Yeah. But they don't have any other weapons that they could actually... Medium rocket pack, have the auto cannon. Are those ones that could be triggered by Ford's observation? No, they can still shoot normally with their action. Yeah. They still get to go declare speed, move, and attack. Okay. So when, it, when they forward observe, when something forward observes, mm -hmm. you can only fire the indirect weapons? You can only fire indirect. Okay. But here's the thing. They're not locked into forward observing. No, no, no. Okay. I understand. Yeah. I was just wondering if there was something else. There. Now, you could yeah. theoretically do it and react with the rocket packs if you wanted to, because those are indirect. The but, rocket packs are either or, yeah. Mm -hmm. But why? But why? Okay. So, before I do these guys, this one is going to use his action to attack that guy. Okay. Uh, rocket tank or pack gun? Uh, pack gun. Uh, you are out of optimal range. Do I have gun. optimal range? Yeah, it's only six inches. Uh, you can rocket pack him. Yeah, I'll rocket pack him. Okay. You're in the back, so you get an extra die there. You have a lot of habits, so you get an extra die there. Yeah. Now, Four. because it is AE3, it might take your own guy. What? Oh, okay. yeah. Oh, well. Oh, well. Okay. So in the butt on the iguana. So four dice. And... Iguana rolls a five. You rolled better than a five. So five, six. Six. Its damage is six. Yes. Um, I rolled a four. I rolled a five. So margin success a one. It's gonna do two damage to the iguana. And that iguana is untouched. So <coughs> here we go. Right. He's crippled for him. No, he won. And then damage roll on him. Oh, yeah. 
Do you want me to roll your Minus one. defense? Huh? Do you want me to roll your defense on that for you? I'll do it. Okay. Six. Six. It's only one defense dice on the cheetah because he's crippled. Nope. Okay. So. So Arjun has a five. Yeah, he's gone. He actually gets over. He actually gets over killed. Yeah. Yay! Right. They're one of my own people. And you still get two regular actions for yep. the, the Grizzlies, and they're still able to move and declare speed and all that. Alright, so. The Grizzlies have. Alright, so we're going to measure their. React at their sensor range. What does Link do? Uh, it's 1d6 extra when you attack. So plus 1d6. Okay. Alright, the Grizzlies are going to, the Grizzlies are going to go ahead and move uh, combat speed. Mm -hmm. To right there. Okay. And he's going to declare an attack along with the rocket pack oh, I assume this on guy. this guy. Okay. The medium rocket pack. Yep. Mamas are going to be rolling two it defense dice. Range. Uh, three for cover on all of them. It has link. As well. So it's going to be plus 1d6 to hit. So we've got two base. Link. Link. Or order. order. So on the main guy, it's four to three. Uh, Mamba rolls a three. This is not good for Mamba. Uh, we get seven, eight. So Mar just has a five. Yeah. Your um, damage is eight. It is an eight. So we'll do five damage to the uh, Razor Fang. Because I'm armor seven. Okay. And then minus 1d6 on him. That guy rolls a seven. And I got a six. And then minus 1d6. Uh, I don't think you're not in his front of his back arc either, so. <laughs> two. Uh, More than two. We forgot that part on him. Yeah. So, oops. Yeah. Alright, and then the other guy? Alright, so the other guy. <clears throat> Might not get much, because the energy moves up. I don't know if he can put anything in anyone. I don't think he's going to do so in optimal range. Yeah. So he is going to fire his heavy auto cannon. At that guy. Okay. Uh, sure. Why not? No, why not? Within optimal range. Yep. I'm on two defense dice. So we have four attack dice. Yeah, two, one, and burst. He rolls a uh, four or five. Three. That's better than a five. Yeah, that is a six. And then I don't have to do math. You're going to kill him because of how much damage you already did to him. Yeah. So, yay! Kill um, him. Now you wipe that fire sport team. So you got two points there. Um, I've gotten one for killing your unit, but objectives still matter, so. Yeah. Okay. Uh, right. Over to me, because I still have a combat group left. You do. Um, they're going to get the order for let them have it. Uh, fails, but everybody's in, so. Let's start with the crippled striking Jaeger. He's going to combat speed. And take a shot with his bazooka at the Kodiak. Okay. He's gonna roll, normally would roll two dice, but order and cripple down to two. Kodiak He's is in cover. He is in cover, so yeah. two dice. So two dice. I got six. Three. Armor piercing one. Well, armor piercing just says you're gonna die. Oh, you did. He did. All right, now let's go pick on this Jaguar here, because I don't like him. Start here with the rocket pack. Um, we're going to combat speed three over our dead buddy and rocket pack him. Okay. So two dice plus one on the Jaguar, okay. who is going to be in cover because I'm within an inch of him, right. or not going to be in cover. I'm within an inch of the thing giving cover, so. Right. So, here should be two dice on a three. Oops. 
three dice on fire. I got five. Six. Okay, good job. Seven. This guy is going to go and take the same shot there. Okay. Five. Three. Three marches. So that's a two. It is damage seven, so that'll be two damage. To the Thunder Jaguar. Thunder. Uh, that brings us through round three. So initiative for turn four. One. Six. <laughs> All right, I'm on again. Um, strike group. Big. Strike group is going to go because they need to. Yeah. They need you badly. Um, what do we need to do with our time, though? What's that? We need to kill a cheetah. I'm sorry. We need to kill a cheetah. We need to kill a jaguar. Yeah, this and is four, right? Do whatever we can. Yeah. All right. So this guy's going to go seven to here. Okay. Staying outside of six. And it's going to rotary laser the cheetah. Okay. Um, I think because of the side, you're going to be in cover. Because of the side of that little yeah. barricade. So, so here we go. Uh, six. One more. Should be on three. Yeah, for cover. And that would be a four. Margin says a two is damage seven, so nine. Your armor five. Yeah. So it'll take four. Uh, I don't know. Cheetah four? Yeah. Uh, the other two are gone, right? Yeah. Uh, this Mamba is going to go here, combat speed. Take a no cover shot on your Jaguar, on your Thunder Jaguar. I am crippled. So he's gonna take a shot right there. No cover, optimal range. Two base dice, one for burst, one for order, minus one for crippled. So five. So margin says a two. Damage seven to armor seven is gonna take two damage. Which should cripple him. Is that the regular thunder? That's thunder, the thunder. thunder. All right, now we have an interesting question. Two damage on the thunder. It does cripple. We have a very interesting question here. We're going to go with this guy. He's going to do combat speed to here and shoot the cheetah with his auto cannon. So four dice. Shooting the crippled cheetah. Oh, uh, I haven't assumed you. I assume you haven't reacted to any of this. Uh, who are you shooting with? What? I'm shooting with him at the crippled chair. Okay, that's fine. All right. Four dice. Four, five, six. Uh, you're going to be down to two because of cripple pool. That'd be a three. Margin says a three. Damage seven is a ten, does five. Uh, okay. Right. And I'm at my two points now because I've killed more than half of your group. All right, the king is going to power waddle over here. Go right there, so we're now we'll be over him anyway. So, all right, particle accelerator there. 18 inches. You are in cover. What is his? What is he at? He has taken three damage. Taken three damage? Yeah. Because everybody failed miserably last round to hit him. Um, I am going to react with these two. Okay. So particle accelerator on the grizzly. Optimal range is going to be three dice. In cover. Um, I'll keep a seven. Six. So margin plus a one. Damage eight. I'm sorry, that's an eight because of advanced. So margin plus a two. Damage eight plus two is ten. Your armor is eight. Yeah. So you take two, and you're haywired. So he's crippled this turn. Okay. Okay. 
Your reactions. All right, so the Thunder Jaguar. Optimal range, running cover. So if you have three, he is crippled. So you have burst. You have burst, so, so two. two. The king gets a six. That's a seven. It's a seven. So margin is one. Your damage is seven. My armor is nine. So you're still not going to do any damage. Okay. And then the gun, the, the sniper. sniper. He's going to get two. Sorry. He's going to get two. Yeah, he's going to get two. Okay. King rolls a four. And he rolls a seven. Margin is a three. Damage is eight. Plus precise. Um, so one more. So you got a nine. I'm sorry, no. You got a seven, two, and eight. Margin is a four. Yeah. So margin is a four. Damage is eight. So 12. 12. Armor nine. Boom, okay. girl. Wow. Doesn't finish the job, but you know, hey. Okay. Um, that's my first activation. But I will take it. All right. Because you have a crippled grizzly. Right. All right. That was probably worth the king. Probably. Anytime I play these games, I think there's like, you ever played like an RTS? Yeah. And you hear the unit barks? Yeah. I can't help but think of the King Cobra and just think of an Elvis voice. Yeah. I'm King Cobra. Just making king comments. Right, baby. Just check out my. What does he have, his weapon? I'm sorry? What is that big weapon he has? Particle accelerator. Hey, buddy, you want to check out my particle accelerator? That was more Johnny Bravo than... It's close Elvis, enough. But close. Actually, that'd probably take Johnny Bravo for the satire. Alright. A little bit short. A little bit short. A little bit short. Alright, so... He is going to move combat speed, and he's just going to move right there. Okay. I would like to do the order. Any orders? Uh, oh yeah, somebody else got moved to. He'll be my. Yeah. Well, no, he's still the commander. He's the color commander. So yeah, we're gonna let him have it. Gotta roll for it. See if the other guy gets it. No. Everybody. Gets yeah, he got it. Okay. All right. So he is crippled, but he's gonna go ahead and shoot the crippled razor thing. <laughs> he's going to shoot. Yeah. Okay. Um, rockets are out of hand. Rockets. Rockets are potentially hitting so all four two, of them. Minus one for triple, plus one for the order. Alright, um, and plus one for back arc. Yep. Mamba's on one. He rolled a five. It's a good one. Yeah. Not good enough. No. You got six. Um, rocket pack is seven. Is so seven. You're not gunnery three. Oh. I'm using my grizzly. Never mind. Okay. So you have six. So you win by one. Your damage is eight. Yeah. So you'll do two damage, and that kills the uh, razor fang. Who's next? Uh, Minus one die. Do this guy. Minus one die. Cover now. Ready? Five. Uh, that'd be a six. Okay. Uh, damage is a eight. So plus one is nine. nine. That goes three to the command Jaeger. Who is now crippled? Crippled iguana rolls a seven. Stupid crippled iguana. And a six. Is, and then uncrippled razor uh, mamba rolls a seven. Can't do it. Okay. I only have two dice. Well, yeah, I, could I mean, roll you seven. could match armor piercing, man. Yeah. That's not a match. I did not. And then Mr. Big Guy back there. Mr. Big Stuff. Alright. Do measure sensor range. Let me think. You can probably move five yeah. and get there. So we'll go ahead and move combat speed five. There. Measure the sensor range again. Yep. And he's going to fire 
Who's who's weapon? Private pack. Heavy. Uh, there's nobody else there. Uh, the heavy's too short, isn't it? So here's the thing. Because of length, the medium rocket pack and the heavy auto can't have the same damage. Oh, the heavy auto can't have the same damage. One has burst. Oh, the... So they're both going to get plus one to the die roll. Well, we're going to get two... I would take the rocket pack so you have armor piercing. True. No, the armor piercing doesn't matter. Your armor your damage is already higher than me. Yeah. So it doesn't matter. We're going to use the heavy auto cannon. All right. We're going to do... That's two, plus one for the first, plus one for the order. <laughs> yep. Mom takes a four. You want to roll a five? Yeah. Or just a one does two damage to the blazing Mamba. Armor seven, having a success two, or one. Damage eight. Over to me? Yeah. All right. Issue order, let him have it. I only get one die. But it's the best dice ever because it works. Um, he's gonna go. He's just gonna shoot the cripple jaguar. Okay. I'm on two dice now. I'm gonna fire my light auto cannon, so I have one more for uh, first. Oh, you're within one of those guys. Yeah, so. and you're gonna be on one dice because you're crippled too. I roll a seven. I can't beat that, but get a three. No. Um, so yeah. Mark says Ford finishes the job on him. Forgot to mark them with tokens, but. This guy! Combat speed. Bazooka! Bazooka! Two dice. Three. You're gonna get I roll five. You roll five as well. Know. So it hits. It's damage seven. But you're at uh, um, agile, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, and then this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six. Rock attack. <laughs> Right back. Minus one. Um, for yep. top speed. He, well, he can go top speed. He oh, just, combat. He just went combat? Yep. Okay, so. You're totally in cover, though. You rolled a three. Yeah, you rolled better than a three. Uh, my last combat group, because I still have <laughs> one of these stupid iguanas left. Yeah. Um, he's going to top speed. Or he can't top speed because he's crippled, so he's just going to combat speed to here. Good time to stay alive. Please don't you. You already got your points. Um, um, turn five. Turn five. This last is closer turn. than I thought it would be. At last turn. Um, initiative. I'm down to a crippled commander, so I'm rolling on one dice. You're but rolling you have, on two. You have four points, though, right? Um, I will. I have three right now. Three right now. I'm probably going to go to four. Yeah. I'm probably going to go to five unless you somehow kill all five of them. Yep. All right. Like, you got you got to do a lot. I can't win on objective points, but I can try to kill everybody, and I won't do anything. But I can try to kill everybody. You can try to kill everybody. All right. So initiative test. I rolled two. You only roll one die because he's crippled and he's the only one left. Oh. The highest ranking commander is in fact crippled. I <laughs> got three. So you get to go. All right. So what can you kill? Uh, all right. So I can. He is now no longer. Yeah. So. I don't think those are, I don't think they're close enough. Is that three inches. To what? Can't measure it. I was thinking. Yeah. Uh. Well. Shoot. So there's some things here. Um. Because you can measure. Well. Whatever. Yeah. I don't think you're close enough to claim that. You can't get there. Okay, you can't claim anything. You can't score any more points. The question is, can you score and not talk? Can you kill enough stuff off me? Well, this, it won't win the game. But you have to kill six models with five actions. Yeah. And I don't think anybody's in area effect rocket range. And one guy's way the hell over there, so I don't think he's going to get anybody. You're not going to get him. Um. Well, might as well just... Actually, this one's going to shoot that guy. <laughs> so he's gonna, he's gonna break. Like he's gonna give the order. He's gonna brace. You gotta roll for it. No, you know what? He's not gonna give an order. He's just gonna brace. Okay. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. Sorry. All right. Break. So you're gonna take your, your your sniper shot. Yeah. So he's braced. And it comes he's gonna... the best sniper shot. In the world. <laughs> 
Uh, you're in optimal range. Yeah. I'm gonna get two dice because I'm, cri I'm crippled, but uh, I'm still breathing. You'll get covered. Yeah, so I'm on two dice. So I get two. Plus one for brace. Plus one for brace. Plus one on the result for precise. Yeah, that's three. Nick one dice. Nick one is brutally murdered. Yeah. All right, over to me. All right, so let's spread out so nobody dies here. I'm going to do the Jaegers first. Yeah. Um, order. He's going to get it no matter what. He gets it too. Command, command Jaeger is EW5, so it goes off. All right. Careful. Get in front of the camera. Yeah. Combat speed. Bazooka. Combat speed. Bazooka. So two dice. Um, you're gonna get three because you're in cover. Yeah. Got five. Five. You beat it. You got a six. Six. This guy is going to top. Uh, he can't top speed, so he can only go combat speed to six. He's gonna go there. This guy's gonna top speed and hide. Yeah. As best as he can. Um, Check my sensor range here. So you're not going to tag multiple guys with a single rocket. Right there. Yes, yeah, alright, so cool. Can't tag multiple guys with a single rocket. Over to you. Alright, so I get to activate this combat unit here, and I'll activate this model first. Give my commander. You know, spend a command for let him have it. Mm -hmm. uh, roll to see if the other guy gets it. The other yes. guy does. So All right. both have let him have it. You do not have a rocket that will tag multiple guys. I've already made sure of that. <laughs> no, I'm just trying to get in line of sight. <laughs> I think that'll do it. Going to move combat speed to there. Mm hmm he does have a lot of sights, although you are in cover on this guy. Okay. So he's going to use his uh, heavy auto cannon. Heavy auto cannon. For four dice. Well, optimal range is only 18. Actually, I'd fire the rocket pack. That's just me. For the AP? Yes. If you get the oh. MOS zero, you're, well, you're, you're doing damage anyway, so it doesn't yeah. matter. All right. So two plus one for burst plus one for the order minus one for the out of optimal range. Yep. Yeah. So three to three, we're both down fours. Perfectly even dice roll. I got a seven. I have four. I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this guy's gonna. I mean, the burst doesn't matter. Yeah. There's really no nothing that you can do except to shoot. Just pick a guy and shoot. Yeah, so um, so best thing you can do for denial is try to kill him or cripple him. Because here's what's going to happen. My next activation is going to top speed back over here, grab this. Yeah. Nobody can see him, so you can't react to me. Right. And then the other guy's just going to suicide charge forward and see if he can kill that grizzly yeah. by some weird fluke of dice. It doesn't right. matter if he lives or not. He's going to go ahead and shoot there. Shoot there. Auto cannon. Yeah. Well, actually, hold on. Uh, brace doesn't matter, so we might as well get a little closer or move in range. I don't know range without it. Okay. So auto cannon, so two plus one for burst, one for the order. Yep. I got six. And you're throwing dice around. That wasn't behaving. Five, six. six. So MOS is zero. That is a Mamba, it is agile, so that misses. Yep. Yeah. It's a miss, sir. Right. So that's yours. That's mine. So the Mamba group's going to go. Um, they're going to let him have it to see if it happens. It does. does. He's the group leader, by the way. Yeah. This guy's going to top speed over here. He's going to end without spending an action, but nobody can see him to react against him. Right. Because you do have reactions on those grizzlies. Yeah. Now we're going to see if this guy can get cute and lucky, get within an inch of the terrain, so no cover with his rotary laser. We'll react. Um, sweet spot, so I'm within an inch of the terrain, but not within six of you. Okay. 
And I'm gonna eat two reaction shots. Yeah. Uh, one, uh, one out of three. I'm gonna react with a heavy machine gun. Okay. <laughs> That's two. Uh, plus two for burst. Are you an optimal range? I am. All right. And split. four versus four. Do I not get? And I'm not affected by the. I don't have it during reactions. No. Okay. That's just for your activation. All right. Blazing Mamba rolls a seven. Nope. That is a three. The margin of success. Uh, I'm sorry. He rolled. Um. He rolls a seven to an eight. So okay. the margin of success of five. It is damage seven. So that's a twelve. Your armor eight does four damage to the Cody to the Grizzly. He already taken two. Yeah. So it kills the Grizzly. Bing. Good job, Mamba. You redeemed yourself after last time. And then reactions. So at the end of round, yeah, the other guy. Well, hold on. Yeah. You had two reactions. Okay. And this one's there. Same same dice. Yeah. Um, Wait. That's not optimal range on the machine gun. Oh. I promise that's not optimal range on the machine gun. I don't think it is, at least. Well. What's optimal range on the machine gun? Nine. That's not optimal range. Don't fire your auto can um, your rocket packs. Yeah. So rocket packs can be three dice. Yep. Yeah. Doesn't matter. Three. Okay. So the Mamba lives. Last activation. That's round four. So scoring. Um. Your fire support group has been reduced to less than half strength, yep. so I get two points for that, and yep. one point for the hunter group. So it's three, four, five, six. To my two. To your two. Good game, sir. All right, so um, we wanted to say before we close it out that I'm still enjoying the game. I got a lot of learning to do to make it even more interesting. Um, Which one of Warfare adds a lot? Everything seems to be... It has, okay, so it has this thing. So the one thing I like about Infinity is the fact that reactions, which you get a chance to do uh, in this game as well. React to seeing someone run across the thing or react to someone firing at you so on and so forth. One thing it doesn't do is allow you just to have reactions and then go into your next turn still blazing, right? So you get to react, but you're sacrificing you're sacrificing that action on your if you're you know, to activate, you know, on your on your next activation. Yeah. Infinity the reactions are unlimited. Right. They're not unlimited here. Yeah. The other so, thing is you can't use the same gun multiple times per round. So Yeah, that's the other thing. So your choices have to be you have to make good choices as to what you use first. If you want to save your better weapon for you know for a reaction later, like if you know you're gonna have it. Uh, I still think the scale is amazing. I think it add something really cool uh, to it. Uh, be, being able to get more train on the board. And, I mean, this... Yeah, look at the bodies. The bodies is everywhere. I mean, there are six models, seven models left. Yeah. We started with 30. Oh, and this is... I'm going to put this over there just so you can see. This is everything that exploded on my side. Yeah, plus that. <laughs> like... All that stuff blew up and isn't actually sitting on the table, but they're all dead. Yeah. So there are six models left, so 80% of the guys that walked in died. Yeah. So, uh, we're going to have some more videos on this. I'm not sure exactly what form they will take, whether it just be battle so, reports or... I know for a fact that I'm still working on the Caprice uh, to get those together mm -hmm. and painted. And maybe um, we can have a game... Um, here shortly that uh when that's all done he uses caprice using caprice plus whatever he wants to use yeah so waiting on the kickstarter that should hopefully be shipping very soon they quoted mid-february for last update so, so any day hopefully hopefully um in which case i'll have all my new coal stuff in and so we're gonna try to just you know uh nick has a i'm just, I'm just getting started nick has a bunch of models maybe we can have some just using his models for now or until I get the rest of it done to just show off different factions and what they do. Uh, Nick, uh, I will have a model review video coming up. We will have one on the site probably the next couple days, maybe midweek, uh, that uh, he did a review on. Yeah, so what we're going to do with those is <laughs> we're just going to look at models and heavy gear and talk a little bit about them. Um, we've already recorded them, so I have a pretty good idea what we're doing. 
Yeah. We're going to start with the starter boxes. North is getting two videos. South is going to get two videos. All the rest of them, I'm pretty sure we can do in one. Um, maybe not Caprice, because Caprice is weird. But we're going to yeah. go through the, the stuff you can make in the starter boxes. Um, and those are going to shoot for every other week. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so every other week, interchange between our war uh, the War Machine yeah, and Theme Forces. Yeah, we do the War Machine Theme Force videos. And, and they're... Um, the ones that are recorded, I think, are about 20 minutes long. And what we do is we just touch a little bit of the history of the unit in the game, look at its profile, kind of go through its stats, traits, and weapons, and talk a little bit about them, and then some closing thoughts on how it all fits together. Right. So we talk about things like, um, I record the Grizzly video already. The Grizzly's medium rocket packs and heavy auto can are very interesting because they're almost identical. Right. The rocket pack is AE armor piercing, which is better... But at the same time, the heavy auto cannon in most situations isn't a downgrade. Right. Which is cool because with React Plus, it has the potential to shoot both guns in one turn. Yeah. Um, we talk about things like the Kodiak video with the destroyer Kodiak. You saw how slow and plotting that thing was. Yeah. Giving it a bazooka, which is a short range gun, maybe yeah. not the greatest choice in the world. Um, the support Cobras, you know, you got the field gun. They're right. not they're not the sit back artillery piece here. The regular spittings probably should be. We talk about that kind of stuff. Yep, yeah, so, and we're, like I said, uh, I'm going to try to get, I have a rig that I use for recording painting and assembly and stuff like that, uh, try to get one together for Nick, and maybe when he gets those new poles, we can uh, get some assembly slash painting on that, but he has to decide to do that, but I will be uh, putting out a video, hopefully soon, of um, how to get the, kind of how to get the most out of the um, Caprice box. Um, but with magnetization um, and showing that process from start to finish, at least on um, you know one of each like little of model, so mm -hmm. uh, one mega do, you know, one, one, one big chassis, yeah. one medium chassis, one light chassis. So just to kind of show how that works, and then um, then like I said, while I'm doing that, I'll get that together. So thank you so much. Uh, was there anything else you wanted to add? No, I think we're good. Um... Obviously, if anyone's got any questions or videos they want us to do. Yes. Um, um, we've already had a few tactical video requests, like how, like to go through how armor piercing works and yeah. things like that. Um, this is not a guaranteed thing, but, it, you know, we're always looking for things to go, and I have an idea to do uh, a segment that uh, will cover some rules in multiple games. So uh, keep an eye out for those. Um, but, yeah. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, this video might not come out for a little bit because I want to try to get some graphics on it or something. Well, one thing before we go, just as a note here, um, anybody who's traveling, going to be at Adepticon, I'm going to be at Adepticon. Nick will be at Adepticon. Um, I will actually have heavy gear blitz stuff from this terrain and all that at Adepticon. So, um, we're set up to play some open play games, I think, Friday. I'll have to go back and double check when it's Friday. Uh, what's the date? Adepticon is March 26, 27, 28, and 29. So, so late March. Um, hopefully the Kickstarter stuff is all here, so I'll have all that. Well, maybe we can try to get something together. Yeah, maybe so it's going to be Adepticon. Give us a holler. So, something to identify you as the what game And guys. we'll probably also do a post-Adepticon breakdown. Yes. I would, um, that would be fun. You know, always, Dave has never been. Um, one thing I've done with him is I keep sending him pictures <laughs> of the swag bag. So maybe we can break that down when you get back um, and then show that. So thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you have anything specific that you're looking forward to seeing Heavy Gear Blitz, please don't hesitate to comment. We do know that mistakes will be made in most of the videos uh, as we as I learn the game, as everything goes. So please, um, please don't hesitate to let us know about that. Uh, so we want to know those things. Um, you can get to see us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash what game now. Uh, what game now on, um, on Instagram, Facebook, it's all basically the same. So whatever, whatever the social media, Instagram.com forward slash what game now. Um, we can't stress enough how important it is for y'all to, to com not only comment, subscribe, like, but to share. So get out there and share with your friends. Say, hey, saw this good video for this game that I play or one of the games that we do. Hey, and just let people, cool. let people know we're here. So um, thank you so much. And don't forget to keep asking the question of what game now. Hey, this is Dave. 
If you like what we're doing here at What Game Now, go ahead and click on one of the videos which should be on either side of me, or click right in the middle and go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to hit the bell once you subscribe so that you know when we have new videos. Please go ahead and share us with your friends. Let everybody know that we're here. Thank you for watching and thank you for all of our subscribers already. And we look forward to bringing you more content every chance that we get.